and welcome everyone to Broad Beach on the Gold Coast. A very important clash between these two teams. Broad Beach sitting eighth on the ladder, three and six at home, facing Redland, who of course are four and four so far, and sitting six on the ladder. Win important for both teams. Andrew Brown in commentary, and also joining me shortly on expert comments, Jared Field. He knows a lot about the uh, Broad Beach team. Broad Beach won the toss, kicking towards the uh, left of screen. And good work there by Redland. They'll try and get the ball forward. Now Broad Beach kick the ball back towards their forward line. Tackle there on Daniel Zufa as Broad Beach now come clear through Ben Hancock, although kick was smothered off the boot. And uh, sunny conditions as you can see, but quite blustery. And Broad Beach kicking with the, you think the aid of a breeze in the first term. Kick away there by Travis Reynolds for Redland. Only as far as Ben Wells going back to fly to the ball takes a safe mark. Tries to go down the centre corridor and the mark taken there by Ryan Pandick. Should be a dominant player for Broad Beach this afternoon. He smacked back in the middle to lay the ball off and does so. Paul kick out to the outside of the player all on his own there is Rory Walton. Walton, he goes in short. Good work there by Broad Beach and the mark taken by Jake Greeley. And his kick there looking for big Mitch Brewer there at full four. The ball rocked away from him. Players dive on top of the ball, centre half forward for Broad Beach, first attacking 4A in this match. Picked up there by Brad Howard, looking for support there in defence. Now a chance for Zufa, hard up against the boundary line, the ball kicked clear, and Redland now can come clear through the outer side, a high up and under. Going back to the flight of the ball there is Zane Pringle, had to sit there and takes the mark. Media looking to play on, there's no one in the forward 50, but there's a teammate, there's a two on one situation Cass. now. Uh, Phil Cass leads in the race to the ball. Picks the ball up, didn't use the teammate in the overlap, went short. And the mark taken on the half forward flank there by Damien Stephen. It's my chance there to welcome Jared Field to the commentary. Jared, well, welcome. Thanks, Brownie. Expecting a good game here at HA Oval. It's very blustery conditions and uh, walked the ground before, mate. That centre wicket is extremely heavy. You didn't get blown over in the walk, did you? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> you know this ground, of course, like the back of your hand as well. So, great opportunity for Redland now to strike an early blow. Uh, it's a good kick there by Stephen, right to the teeth of the square, but uh, Paul Mark on that occasion Darren allowed Stewart. the Broad Beach defence in and Darren Stewart takes the safe mark and elects to go over the outer side. So that's obviously basically the tactics from Broad Beach in this first term. Jared. Yeah, look, I think Brownie, uh, obviously this side of the ground is going to be the defensive side, so if they want to score, they've got to get it out to that scoreboard side of the ground, as they did on that occasion through five. The players dive on top of the ball there, a tackle the ball there was Matt Thompson. Good work there, my read by Scott from Broadbeach, takes the result in free kick. Goes out wide, and the mark taken there by Quick. He gets the ball over the top there to Callan Geary, expecting him to have a big game this afternoon. Yeah, running machine, Callan Geary. Likewise, Luke Shreve takes the mark there on the outer half forward flank. Broadbeach now, looking to send the ball. Brewer's going to take the sit from behind, can he get a second grab? No, he missed the opportunity. He'll get the ball back though, good handball over there to Greeley. Over once again to Geary. Has a shot at goal towards the forward pocket. Hancock couldn't quite reach it. The ball ricochets off players. And out of bounds to the right forward pocket for Broadbeach. And we're still scoreless after the first couple of minutes. Well, on the right side of the ground to score here, Brewer will take the ruck inside 50, while uh, Josh Clark sits a kick behind the play out here in the square. So boundary throw in, contesting the ruck there for Redland was Travis Reynolds. In the front position, now Scott Miller. Been contested up against there with Ben Wells. Ball of ground level. Miller had three to beat there. And it fell to Jake Greeley. He's kicked smart off the boot. And there to Matt Thompson. Running the headband. Favourite broadcast side is Howard. On the lead there is Pringle. The ball spoiled away from him. Redland though had the support. Coming away there was Dylan Byrne. A good work there by Broadbeach. Stopping that tack on the half forward line there was Josh Clark. Clark now favours the centre. Now three Redland players around the solitary Ryan Panic. And Panic took the safe mark. Goes out wide once again now to Luke Shreve. Nathan Quick at the front position. Couldn't quite take the mark. Scott pulled off the ball. Back to here to Quick. We'll go for a handball. Back towards the centre. Danger there. Panic. He was looking for, but only fell to Matt Thompson. He in turn tackled to the ground. Umpire comes in, crosses the arms, will be a ball thrown up. On the outer wing here at Broad Beach. Ryan Panic's been pretty influential early, mate. He's uh, reigning best and fairest winner at Broad Beach. Expecting big things from him today. Josh Clark doing the ruck work there for Broad Beach on the 31. 
Ball falls to the skipper, Matty Fife, who won the toss. So Broadbeach needs to use this breeze in this first term. I know a couple of weeks ago I did the Southport game at uh, the Sharks. It was 11 behind for the first term at Southport. This breeze a little bit different, blowing more across the ground. We'd be happy with one behind at this stage, Brandon. <laughs> What's this wee business? <laughs> In the commentary box, we just like to see a score. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be difficult conditions for the players. A real test for both these teams, as we mentioned. There's Tom Salter, acting skipper today for uh, Redlands. Of course, we see a couple of important players today, Jared. Yeah, look, the, the key players for Redlands today, obviously, here's Zufa, he's one of those, but their key forwards have been in super form recently, uh, Gardner and also uh, Josh Pullman. So, if Broadbeak can hold them today, they're half a chance here, but. Dylan Byrne looking for one of the tall timbers down there. Ball goes inside their forward 50. A quick kick there by Cass, trying to get the breeze to bring the ball back. And running back to the flight of the ball there was Clark taking a safe mark. Kick out wide. Under pressure was Matt Fife. Redland all ridden into the back. They'll get the free kick for the visitors. Another chance here for the score there. Goal Cass trying to make position at centre half forward. So a free kick there to Redland on the outer side. And it's going to have a, uh, a set shot. Still no score here at H&A Oval, Broad Beach. Tough kick from here, Brown. He's going to need to start this probably outside the left point post with his breeze. He's right on the uh, boundary line. Comes in, the uh, deliberate kick. And uh, not a bad attempt. He might have threaded it through here. And he has, so first blow struck there by Redland. First goal of the afternoon, Broad Beach still yet to score, early stages first term. And the uh, goal kick there by Redland by Tyler Jones. Great kick. It was a good kick under uh, under extreme wind conditions here at uh, H&A. Just the key matchups down there. Uh, Templeton for Broad Beach is on, uh, on Josh Pullman. And Emery, a bit of a surprise there. He's gone back to play on, uh, play on Gartner. So uh, a couple of surprises from Broad Beach. Brewer playing out of the goal square and uh, Josh Clark started pretty well on the ruck, taking a couple of early marks. So the ball back in the centre. Broad Beach making a couple of changes. First blow to uh, Redlands, early stages of the uh, first term, and a centre square infringement. And it's going to go Redlands' way. The Bombers, and a free kick taken by the Ruckman here, Travis Reynolds. He's got Byrne now by himself here on the broadcast wing. Takes the safe mark, and Redlands now to look to build another attack. And uh, chopping of the arms on that occasion. Going the way of the visitors. Scott Miller takes the free kick. Good position there, used by Blake Brewer. So Brewer, long way from home, looking for a lead, and it's presented well. Good work once again by Redlands going to attack, and Damien Stevens takes the mark. But once again, he's hard up on the boundary. As Brewer, after being involved in that play, takes an early break there for Redlands. Important the match up there, Brownie, with uh, Geary on Grua, both uh, both A graders. So hard up against the boundary line, Stephen. Once again, it's not a bad attempt. Redland could have had more numbers in the goal square there with the ball, with the breeze pulling that ball up, and it's just touched off hands through for a minor score. So they open up a seven point lead, one one seven. Redlands and Broadbeach still yet to score. Templeton to bring this back in, Brownie. It comes to the members' side of the ground. And looking and Josh finding Searle. Josh Searle. Standing the mark there, Scott Miller. Kick close to the boundary line at the back and well judged too. Rory Walton takes the mark. Well, well I'm moving up forward though, right, uh, Jared? No, Brewers had to push up and that kick's going into the car park by the look of that. You could have uh, taken that mark yeah, almost, Jared, if, if you reached out and uh, <laughs> grabbed that one. Brewer come from all the way from the goal square then. They're just not uh, not structuring up too well in front of the footy at the moment, Broadbridge. And Redland's just happy to build a wall across that half-back line at the moment. Zufa to Reynolds, in turn to Jack Goodall, out wide. The ball ends up in the centre. Players are trying to avoid that patch of... Uh, do it if they can, but Redlands go through it well on that occasion. Out here to Dylan Byrne, making a lot of space in the broadcast wing. Put the ball ahead of Walton. Sends the ball into that uh, right forward pocket. Punch behind there by Zane Pringle. Pringle getting good support from his teammates down the field. And the ball's gone out of bounds. Redlands leading it by seven points. Yeah, look, they started all right here, Redlands. It's going to be a tough scoring day. I think, you know, 10 or 12 goals might win this game, Brownie. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how it pans out. But they're, they're on top early, Redlands. 
Five over around the ball. Walton goes to ground. The umpire forced the ball. We come in and throw the ball up. Just inside attacking 50 for Redlands. And uh, Broadbeach need to work a bit harder. We already see loose players though across the centre line. Reynolds, the uh, Ruckman's kick behind the play. Waiting for just the uh, wild kick in. The other three player there, Brownie, is uh, Zufa on his own. I don't reckon Broadbeach will want to leave him out there on his own for too long because he's a very damaging kick when he gets it uh, in space. Standing in the centre corridor at the moment. Centre half back. Doing the ruck work that occasion was Gartner. One of the prime forwards for Redlands. As Broadbeach live the ball now on the broadcast wing. Ball over the head of Geary. Burnt, slipped at the vital stage. Allowed Broadbeach in, but there's Reynolds. Exactly what he's there for. Mop up those loose kicks across the half-back line. Found Nathan Reed and turned to Zufa, back to Reynolds. So, racking up the, pos the possessions earlier, the Ruckman. And what's a juggling mark there, would have paid it. A pile out to go play on. Burn, back to Brad Howard. Out wide here to Adam Burn. Start of the game on the bench. Ball goes towards the boundary and it's gone over. Correct call there by the boundary umpire. There'll be a boundary throwing right on the members' wing here with Redlands with a seven point lead. Broadbeach still yet to score. Called it right, Brownie. Both Ruckman sitting behind the, uh, behind the play here. Clark and Reynolds both having a big influence on this game. Oh, good interception there by Chris Thompson. Redlands can launch another attack here through Boone. Looking there for uh, Big Pullman. He couldn't pull the mark on that occasion. Fife, Broadbeach skipper close to the boundary line. Ball trickles out of bounds, another throw in. They've been reasonably happy with this start, Broadbeach, in defence. Neither of the, uh, the Redlands key forwards have had their hands on it too much, so uh, certainly in the game. Good work by Gartner. Pushes his opponent out of the way, now takes the game on. Has a shot at goal, Gartner just veered oh. off to the right-hand side. He's claiming it's a goal. I think he wants the video review. <laughs> Look close, I tell you. I'm sure Dean Dave's going to be that quick with the uh, review there on the monitor, but just veered to the right-hand side from our angle, right behind the kick. He was celebrating, but it's through for a minor score. One, two, eight, Redlands. Board beats, still yet to open their account. Need to get the ball moving quickly down to their forward line. Chance now here through McKenzie. Got the ball back there to uh, a teammate. Mitch Brewer a long way up from the full forward position, trying to get involved in the play, as was Burton on that occasion. Ball only falls as far as Salter here. Acting skipper for Redlands today. And with these blustery conditions, what can the board beats do? The ball over the head now of Greeley. Got the ball to advantage though. Down to Clark in front of Geary. He's got the pace. Tackled strongly from behind there by Reed. Good work there by the Redlands defender. Now players are held up in a tackle. And uh, good work by number 24. Probably saved the goal on that occasion. Geary was out there, but just didn't quite have the leg speed to break away. Plenty of players around the ball. Now a chance for Shreve, went backwards. He found Jake Jones here, right behind the kick. It's about 80 metres from goal. Brewer provides a screen on the mark. And a high kick towards the uh, forward position. Where are the crummers there? Good defensive work by the Bombers though at the moment. Broadbeach desperately looking for their first score. It's close enough to their goal so they can manage one here. Players just throwing the bodies over the ball. There'll be a ball up. Only about 20 metres directly in front of the Cats goal. Clark will take this. Brewer's uh, gone into the ruck. He's sitting behind the play and Clark Set gets play, it here. Geary and a snapshot from the number three. Will it come around enough? I think he's put it through. Geary's first goal of the afternoon. Likewise for the Cats and they're on the board. Class act, Callan Geary. He's uh, been hitting the scoreboard a bit more the last uh, the last few weeks, but he's uh, he's had an impact there. For a great hit out from Josh Clark, forward of, uh, forward of centre. So uh, into the first turn, Broadbeach one straight kick, six points. Trial Redlands by two points, who are one, two, eight. And they did lock a set play there. Obviously get the ball out to that uh, space, yeah, the hit, fat side if you like. Hit into the, uh, straight into the corridor and Geary smart enough to get on the end of it and uh, a great snap. And the uh, wind did the rest of course. Absolutely. As we said, important game for both clubs here. Broadbeach sitting uh, eighth. Previous meetings between these uh, two uh, sides. Haven't played this year. Yeah. Only played this year in a practice match, and uh, things were level till half time, I believe. And then uh, Redlands finished uh, much stronger, and Broadbeach were goalless in the second half. So uh, first uh, first meeting in the regular home and away season though this year. Pantic down to Stewart, who is running by. This better set up by Broadbeach, having the snap got a goal. Is Keely, and he's bounced it through. Has he? Well, no. he has, but only for a minor score. 
It's number 29 there, Shay Kelly. So the first behind the afternoon. Marjani uh, one point. As uh, interesting to see how Redland set up to bring this ball back into play from a uh, set kick. Reynolds comes in off the uh, boundary line, screaming forward, but Zufa went out the, went out the other way to uh, Brewer. Brewer. Out there, a good smother off the boot though by Broadbeach. Redland had the numbers though in support. Over the top there is Thompson, got the ball away. Reynolds now presenting himself on the half-back flank, takes the mark. Boone's there calling for it, it's close to the boundary line, and good ball behind the way three. Sees the ball over line, keeping the ball inside the attacking zone for board beats on the uh, member side. Good spoil by Shreve there and also a ripping smother by Nathan Quick on the far side to lock the ball in this front half of the ground for Broadbeach. Brewer had all the play there and his choice where to tap it down to. Elected to go to Walton. The players wrapped up in a tackle. And the uh, players coming out of that. Number 33, Sean Wilson for Broadbeach. And also Matty Thompson there for Redlands. Now it's back with uh, Shreve. Getting a bit of the ball so far in this first term. Down to Crawford. Crawford, a little left foot kick, close to the boundary line. Kept in play there by Ben Hancock. Now running onto it here is Wilson. Oh, he lost possession somehow. Grew end up with it. And got the ball to uh, Thompson. Up by Sarah Travel to 15. Try to get the ball. Oh, so it's a throw there. It's lost control then, I mean, Shay Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, he did. And the uh, umpire eventually saw it though, didn't play the free, free kick straight away. And Gruitt now takes the result in free kick for Redland. Dangerous kick though, the corridor in the front position there was Stewart for Broadbeach. Players wrapped up in the tackle, and the umpire will come in and throw the ball up. With only a one point game here in the first term at Broadbeach, Redland's on eight, the Cats on seven. Brewer and Clark are absolutely dominating the ruck here. They've just about won every hit out between them. I think uh, Redland's going in without Paxman today. It's uh, it's really given Broadbeach a, uh, a free hit in the ruck here, and uh, I think uh, Walton and also Ryan Panic are going to uh, going to benefit from some pretty good service all day here from these two big boys. Also missing uh, Piver Wright and number 27 Josh Veering, important players to Redlands team this afternoon. Paul Geary, rare mistake there overrunning the ball out. His opposite number three in in Thompson. They're stealing a ball back there was Walton goes in short. He's going to get back here. Geary got the handball over here to Panic. Pantic, what will he do? Measures the short pass up. Front position and taking the strong mark. Clark. And it's Josh, Josh Clark. Clark again. And you uh, picked this at the start of the game, Jared. That uh, Brewer and Clark will spend a lot of time down the forward line. Well, it's worked so far, mate. They're both going well in the ruck. And, uh, and, yes. and Clark now uh, set up the first goal and uh, has slotted the next one. Straight over the goal up by his head. Knows the ground well. Know how much debris to allow for. And all of a sudden the Cats have scored the two goals on end. They're 2-1-13. Redlands are 1-2-8 here in the uh, first term. Well, they've just uh, dominated probably the last five or six minutes, Brownie. They've been able to uh, lock the ball in the forward half and uh, finally they've uh, managed to get one through the big stick. So they're, uh, they're in front. Matt Angus will be pretty happy with the start, I reckon. Waiting for the uh, ball return to the centre. And also for Broadbeach, out of uh, last week's team, uh, Taylor Haley and uh, Nick Ellis. Yeah, Nick Ellis, defender, and Haley, uh, co-captain of the club. He's gone away on a uh, delayed honeymoon. He got married before Christmas and uh, decided to honeymoon in the middle of the following season. So I'm sure the coach is pretty happy with that one. Choosing the uh, Queen's birthday weekend. <laughs> That's it, mate. Ball, once again, punch to advantage here for Broadbeach. But good work there by Grew. Had two to beat. In fact, three to beat. He still held possession of the ball. Risky kick, though. He's trying to get the ball across, but luckily the ball favoured Redlands on that occasion. Well, he's going to get the ball back here, Grewer. Tackle strongly behind, though, but into the back illegally. He's to the umpire against Kelly. And uh, Grewer getting a few possessions in this first turn. will take the free kick. Now, Redlands got no one here. He's looking at that on the broadcast side for someone to make position. In the end, relies on uh, Zufa to kick the ball clear of defensive zone. Push oh. in the back. And this could Played be a, a shot, further penalty here. As Broadbeach continue to play on, but the umpire's called it back. And the free kick going to the Bombers on that outer wing. It's going to Brad Howard. Play running past is Zufa. Providing a bit of run off that half-back flank. Play caught behind there is Stephen. Need to be in front there. Good work by Broadbeach. Sees the ball out of bounds. 16 minutes around for the Bombers' goal. And now trial by five points. Stephen took a couple of early marks on the lead, but Jake Jones has gone onto him and led him to the footy on that occasion. Once again, Brew in the front position there, ahead of Gartner. Got the tap down. Back here with Gartner. Sends the ball back there to a teammate. 
Gartner's is going to get it back here. Let's kick the ball in long. It's going to be held up in the breeze. So players set themselves. Pullman at the back there. Now a chance here for Pringle to run onto the ball for the Bombers. Get the ball. Pelton in front of him. He's hard up against the boundary. And can hit the ball in. Great work there by Zane Pringle. Keeping the ball alive. Broadbeach might be happy to concede a point here, but they like to play on. Well, blustery conditions here now affects Mike. Gear with the ball again across centre half back. And now Broadbeach defend across the members wing and Hancock. This is the mark. The ball kept in play though. Byrne was the target there. Now on the overlap. A chance for Quick over the top. He's got Shreve. Shreve keep going here. Does he want to have a shot at goal? This is the kick looking there for Clark at the back. Got the ball tapped down there. He's going to tap it again. Beautiful work there over to Wilson. But he can't quite get the ball. Good defensive work by the Bombers. Hang on, Grimley. Quick now, picks the ball up, has oh. a snapshot of goal. Clears the defensive effort from Reynolds. And the Cats bring up their third. Great finish there from Nathan Quick. They've uh, made the most of the opportunities inside 50 Broadbeach. And uh, Quick second snap goal after Geary's, uh, Geary's goal before. They're, uh, they've opened pretty well here, the Cats. Picked the last three goals after the Bombers. Got their opening goal through. Tyler Jones, and then goals to uh, the last one there to Quick, also Clark and Callan Geary. I've seen Broadbeach open up an 11 point lead, 3 1 19, Redlands 1 2 8. You can see that play building up here on the uh, broadcast wing, and they yeah, used well, the breeze well on that occasion. Quick involved uh, here on the wing, followed it inside 50, and ended up on the end of it. So it's uh, yeah, good footy from Broadbeach, and they're going well. And uh, we've still got the extra man in defence there, uh, Zufa, but we've seen Rory Walton here trying to drag him away from the contest on this oh, left half. A bit of local like knowledge here for you, Brownie. Yeah. Out this side, <laughs> waiting for the That's wind to bring need. the foot out. That's what I need, I can tell you. <laughs> Boone, back on the ground. Ball's going to spill out now to Walton. Beat the contest though by Howard for the Bombers. Back to that loose man in Zufa. Low drop punt. Only as finds uh, McKenzie though. Waiting on the side of the pack is Shreve. Left foot kick, high up and under. Front position would be handy here for Broad Beach, but Zufa came up for the top for the spoil. Down to Boone, back to Zufa. Wild handball is going to find McKenzie. And he's also got in support here, Stewart. Back to Shreve. So he's trying to get out around on the right boot. Eventually does so. Kick towards the hot spot. Players here to set themselves. At ground level. Oh, dangerous kick there to Walton. Back to Hancock. Redlands though with the numbers. And so what's too, high, too high to Redlands, he's punched. Okay, to uh, the goal kicker, Jones, now spending time in the half back line. Sends the ball out wide to Pullman, number 23, that's Sam Pullman. Who's got Josh Pullman, the captain, wearing number four. Goes in short to Cass, a little bit quiet early on, the, the number one. But the ball goes out wide, Redlands. Now's a chance for Pullman, it takes a great mark. At full stretch there, left half forward flank, Josh Pullman. And I think he's going to take his chances, have a set shot for goal. Exactly the same spot that uh, Tyler Jones kicked the goal from. So it's uh, somewhere at left point post he needs to put this and uh, let the wind bring it back. Kicking to the school end. Tough shot though, still. New change room since I last uh, yes, been down the, here uh, at uh, Broad Beach as well, Jared. The Jeff Bauer Pavilion's been uh, erected over summer, mate, and it's a terrific facility. Let's see the kick of Josh Pullman. It's gone across the face and off hands through for a minor score. Uh, done a terrific job down here at Broadbeach getting this uh, new facility up and running. And uh, I'm sure the uh, powers of BFAFL Queensland are pretty happy with uh, what they're seeing up there. Now a 10 point game. Redlands moving to 139. Broadbeach in front. 3 1 oh, 19. But Grewer. dangerous kick. Grewer intercepted the pass. They send the Bombers back into attack. And with the sit there was Gartner. And you don't want to give a player of his capabilities too much room and he judged the ball well and took a strong mark close to goal. Danger signs here for Broadbeach. Uh, Pullman with the last mark inside 50 and this time Gartner. They're the two keys that are going to get Redlands home if they're going to win this game today. Only 15 metres out, 45 degree angle. Goes to check side and bends it around nicely. He celebrated a few moments ago, thought he kicked a goal, but this one he can celebrate through the big sticks. And the Bombers bring up their second goal of the afternoon. Tight contest here at Broadbeach. Redlands 2-3-15, trial the Cats by four points, 3-1-19. Well, that was uh, Gartner's first, and I think that uh, 
With Gardner and Pullman down there, just an indication of how important they are. When uh, first four games of the year, they kicked four goals between them, and uh, Redlands were one and three. The last four weeks, uh, Redlands are three and one, and the two key forwards have kicked 35 goals between them, Brownie. So, uh, big job for uh, Templeton and also Emery on these two key forwards. If they can hold them, they can win Broadbeach. So the ball back in the centre. Brewer, been live there for the Bombers in there, being picked up by Nick Scott of Broadbeach. And the bounce down is going to favour Brewer once again. Pandic, good advantage. Ball there picked up by Fife might have been. Now back to Shree. Uh, no, it's not. It's uh, Burton, number 15. Got the ball down to the forward line. It's going to bounce back to Burton, oh. who has... Well, oh, Laura's going to say, just had his head taken off, but it played on a immediately well and a good well pass. Done. He shrugged off that tackle magnificently, immediately played on, and found Quick, who had made space down the goal square, so the Quick reply coming up here for Broadbeach. Well, Burton must have known he was on because he uh, nearly had his head pulled off, but uh, got up straight away and pumped the footy in long to Quick, who Looking goes back and... Oh, he's turned it through! Hey? And looked, uh, oh, I reckon it saved the post from the goal umpire. So. Take the inside. So you can see the umpire. Oh, you see Nathan Quick was allowing for the breeze, but it took a while for the breeze to take effect, and it just shaved the post according to the goal umpire on the way through. How it takes the result and kick in. So back to a five point lead here to the Cats. 20 over 15, approaching uh, well into the first quarter now. And the oh. high leap from behind. By the uh, Bombers player out there, taking the mark, but didn't follow up with an uh, appropriate kick. It was low, and uh, just pick up the high leaper there in a moment. The ball uh, thrown up, Reynolds, and of course it was Salter out there, just wearing the bandage on the right arm. So a great leap, but uh, couldn't capitalise for the kick. As Broadbeach now going to the forward zone once again, but good work, defensive work by Dylan Byrne. Read the ball better over the back of the pack and takes a safe mark. Left back pocket, risky kick here to go short. And found Cass. Put the uh, sunscreen on, has he? Or is there a bandage across the zinc. No, he's got, got the, the zinc. Down on the Gold Coast, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you might get plenty of wind burn this afternoon, that's for sure. Big pack set themselves here. Til Til uh, it's Tyler Jones tackle strongly from behind. Five. And played against him by the cat skipper, Fife. So, Sports wanted to square it off towards the corridor, but favours the pocket. Brewer in late, back down to Cass, wearing the uh, zinc. And Grewer providing plenty of run. That's what Broadbeach had to stop this afternoon. And good kick there from Grewer. Two advantage to Pullman. The ball bounces nicely for him. At Pringle further forward. Now sets it up, looking there for Gartner. Can he get around in time? Oh, the juggling one-hander from the big number 17. And he raked it in beautifully for a strong mark. Broadbeach uh, pressed right up then when Fife had that kick inside 50 and uh, Redlands through Cass and Grewer again who's been terrific. Got through the press and now they're going to have a shot after the siren. So right on quarter time, Gartner to edge the Bombers in front and the ball veering to the right hand side so still working at that breeze at that uh, southern end. And a minor score, he's kicked one goal two for the first term. So at quarter time, a four point lead to the uh, Cats. Goal kickers for Broadbeach, singles to uh, Callan Geary, also Nathan Quick and Josh Clark. And for Redlands, both their goal kickers, Gartner and Tyler Jones, kick, kick the first goal of the match. And look, the uh, team's trying to cope with that win to the first quarter, Jared. Yeah, well, we've seen some, uh, seen some set shots from uh, Redlands uh, all over the place. It's very tough conditions here. This bruise is really blowing hard across to the, uh, the commentary side of the ground. So we'll, uh, we'll see how Redlands go left of screen in the second quarter, Brownie. Quarter time, Broadbeach at home. Leader by four points, 3-2-20. Redlands, 2-4-16. And welcome back to uh, Neeful TV. Second quarter about to get underway here at Broadbeach between uh, the Broadbeach Cats and the Redlands Bombers with the Cats holding a four point lead at quarter time but kicking against the breeze in this uh, second term. Andrew Brown and Jared Field with you. And Jared Field knows this ground very well. It's been a long time here at Broadbeach but currently at Labrador. Might hold that against him though. The ball now, Broadbeach, Clark. Out wide here looking for Shreve now in the uh, broadcast ring. It takes a safe mark ahead of Redlands player in cast, good strong 
Mark in front there by Callan Gear who kicked the first goal for Broadbeach for the match. Went back in board and found the skipper for the day and Fife. Fife now in the broadcast wing. Ball is hot up in the breeze. The player judging it well then for the Cats was Hancock. Jared, from the second yeah. quarter. Good player Hancock. He's uh, moved up from uh, Canberra over the summer and uh, he's been kicking some goals for the Cats. Howard just struggling there against Walton. Thompson goes in there for the Bombers. Look at the headband, but Panic is going to get the ball back here. We'll have a snapshot of goal here, Ryan Panic. And as it got through, no, just touch on the line. Great defensive work there by the uh, Bombers player in Nathan Reed up against Brewer. And the first score of the second term is a minor one. Broad reach we on to 21. Five point lead over the Bombers, who are 16. Brewer starting in the goal square again, Brownie. Broad Beach opting to go with Josh Clark, probably the second string ruckman, uh, up in the centre bounce. And Redlands, obviously would have seen what Broad Beach were trying to do in that first term with the use of the, the strong breeze, slightly favouring the uh, left-hand side. Yeah, look, I think if Redlands, uh, if Redlands want to score, they need to keep the footy on the far side of the ground, although Zoof has brought it out here, but he's overshot Cass and uh, Shreve. Showed great courage there against Stephen. Cass is going to try and get the ball back though for the Bombers on hands and knees. Tackle off the ball there by Crawford. Back to Fife. To Walton. Over there to Darren Stewart. A high kick and oh, over the top there. Free kick should go to Broadbeach it's over the quick. shoulder. To Nathan Quick, who uh, thought he kicked uh, two goals in the first term. Kicked one goal, one. His last set shot just grazing the post. And. Uh, Unselfishly lays off a short pass and he finds Nick Burton who came into the game that's what a lot of stages of that first term and now is a chance for set shot for goal for the Cats. Well at uh, the forward foray uh, in the last quarter Burton hit uh, hit up quick with the uh, the long kick over the top and this time quick has returned a favour giving it to Burton who uh, shoots to the uh, right of screen. Good test into the breeze though just inside 50 and it's not a bad looking kick has it got enough penetration it has it cleared the pack Great work there by Nick Burton. Gets the first goal of the second term at the uh, three minute mark. And the Cats now extend their lead. They're now 4 3 27, 11 point lead over Redlands, 2 4 16, as I mentioned, the uh, three minute mark. And good build up once again, working the way into the breeze at that uh, southern end, Jared. Yeah, quick didn't blaze away, just uh, hit up Burton on the lead. Uh, good young player, Nick Burton, recruited here last year from Palm Beach, Corumban. Uh, played a bit of senior footy down there and uh, he's carrying on and uh, really uh, adapting to uh, senior footy very well. He's a tough young fellow as we saw before. He, uh, you know, he got decapitated and uh, he bounced straight up. So he's a good kid, Nick Burton. Now they are trying to break their duck this season at home. They've played uh, three previous matches here and yet to win at home so far this season, 2013. No, it uh, hasn't been a happy hunting ground to H&A Oval, but uh, perhaps today's the day, Brownie. Thompson with the clearance for the Bombers. It's in their forward zone. Can they get a quick response here? Salter tackled strongly there. Good defensive work there by uh, Walton for Broadbeach and holds up play now between centre and centre half forward for the Bombers. To the uh, northern end in this second term. Good crowd in attendance as well. Stephen off the pack, roved it well, kicks the ball in quickly. That's what they need to do. Pullman's there, try to use his strength to break the tackle as Boone has slung off the ball though. Now they're to Templeton, out to Fife. Now Fife kicks straight towards the members' wing, but didn't look up quickly enough, and Reynolds positioned himself nicely there, the Redlands Ruckman. Finds Salter. Now to the right-hand side. It's Gartner on yes. a good lead, and found him with a beautiful pass. Salter to Gartner. Pretty dangerous combination, I think. It is, the Grogan medalist. He uh, a bit quiet early, but uh, managed to take the, uh, the hanger on the far side in the first quarter, and now he's starting to have some influence on the game. Kick one goal, two in the first turn, the big number 17. Could have easily been three goals straight. He was all around the mark. Now for another set shot. This is a booming yes, boost on him. Straight that. over the goal up by his head. So the Bombers with the reply to the opening goal, the second turn from Broadbeach. And at the five minute mark, the Bombers bring up their third goal. 3 4 22. Back to a five point game. The Cats 4 3 27. Great kick from Solder there, just out to the attacking side of the ground. And Gardner had Emery uh, beaten cold on the lead, so he's going to have to tighten up Kieran Emery, or uh, Gardner might just, uh, might just carve him up here. So Gardner brings up his second goal of the afternoon. Two goals, two so far. And a goal apiece, the early stages. Five in then, Broadbridge. 
Scott just sneaks out the back. Just in time. As the uh, ball will be bounced down, away from the uh, heavy uh, centre wicket area, if you like, just to one side. Clark up against Reynolds. Clark once again winning the tap out. It'll be a one stat. Uh, Tats, Tats will be dominating at the moment. Absolutely. Free kick over the shoulder. Three's going well too, mate. Here he is. Yes, comes out now. The half forward flank. The breeze will carry it. Oh, just dropping the mark. What should have taken there was Hancock. Coming in though is Stewart. He couldn't quite pick up the ball either. Ball close to the boundary line. The players wanted to go over. And it has gone over eventually for a throw in. Between wing and half forward here at Broad Beach. And uh, plenty of rain overnight. For those who brave enough to venture to Metricon Stadium, see the sun's brave win over the kangaroos. But fine conditions, albeit windy, here at HNA Oval on this Sunday afternoon. Neefal round at 12. As players die on top of the ball, no one can get clear, it'll be another ball up. Ground's in perfect condition, Brownie. Uh, it's only the centre wicket area that's a bit heavy. Uh, had a few games here yesterday, and obviously with the overnight rain, it's, uh, it's cut up a bit, but uh, the outside of the ground, it's uh, perfect dry with the footy. Walton with a clearance. Good work from Burton, looking for the free kick. He's got it in support here, Shreve once again. A high kick towards the right forward pocket. Players set themselves, quick was the target. Ball punched away from him, the ball's gone out of bounds for a throw in. Only about 25 metres around from the Broad Beach goal. And Broad Beach pressing right up here. They've got everybody in the front half of the ground. Templeton just level with the uh, with the centre. See if they can lock it in here and score. Plenty of uh, white and red jumpers are around the ball here, defending grimly. They don't want to allow Broad Beach in for another goal. And it's getting players wrapped up in a tackle. Up trying to disperse the uh, players with a quick uh, ball up. But Redlands do well, the quick clearance. But only as far as Clark, through his hands though, Gartner's there. Can he chuck the ball in front of him? Hot on his hammer though is uh, Kieran Emery. And the ball once again goes out of bounds. You know, the interesting thing about this game, uh, Jared, of course, Redlands coming off the bye. Yeah, Redlands had the week off. Uh, and prior to that, they've had a couple of massive victories over the two bottom sides in uh, Mount Gravatt and Labrador. Broadbeach last win also coming off a uh, a big win last week over Mount Cravat where they kicked 11 goals in the last quarter yes. to blow that game right out. Good work there by Grewer. Over to Reynolds. Back to Boone here. Tried to elude the tackle yeah. of Shreve who got him. And Panic tried to get the advantage but uh, be forced to bring the ball back. And it looks Shreve rewarded with that strong tackle. Having a big quarter Shreve kick. out here on this wing, isn't he? He certainly is. And it would be their leading possession getter so far. Get to kick a goal. But sends the catch deep into attack. Good penetrating kick. In fact, the ball goes over the back of the pack. Who's there for the Cats? Couldn't quite. Sufa cleaned that up. Yep, good work there by uh, the Redlands defender. Immediately plays on. Goes out wide, finds uh, Sam Pullman out there. So Broadbeaks. Leading by a few. He's hurt himself, Pullman. Time. Looks like I might have done the hammy there. Looks something's happened there Keep as he went to him, kick. Garrett. Yep, this boy ends up with Salter over the outer side. That player in the support, but Salter just backs himself. Goes for a bounce or two. Looking there for Josh Pullman. Trying to get the ball in one hand and then couldn't quite take the mark. Ball close to the boundary line. And Jake Crawford happy to see it over. Yeah, Pullman coming off, Sam Pullman coming off the ground, mate. Looks like he... Um, might be the end of uh, last or, of the day. Or some sort of leg injury there. So... Uh, Crucial loss there for the Bombers, one of their key defenders. Ball now, trapped by Scott Miller on that outer side. While kicking to the forward lines off target, out of bounds on the full. It'll be a boundary throw in. It was Salter who let that one fly. He's starting to get his hands on it, Brownie, having a bit more influence in this second quarter. So, uh, not good news there for Sam Paul. Actually pulls down the left, uh, something might be a calf injury. Just keep an eye on him there for a moment. Andrew Brown and uh, Jared Field with you here at Broadbeach, H&A Oval. Coming right. for the 10 minute mark of the second term. And it is the uh, Cats leading it by one straight kick, 4-4-28. Bombers are 3-4-22. And goals be highly prized in these uh, windy conditions. We came here expecting a close contest and that's what we've got so yeah. far. Been a good game so far, a goal of difference. We're at the uh, 10 minute mark of the second quarter. And a risky kick, Shreve though the target, and a good kick though, found Shreve. And Broad Beach bring the ball on the uh, member side. Again, quick presenting himself up there from full forward. 
And close to the boundary line, just taking the mark in time. Hancock doesn't let this one spill. The player originally to bring the ball out of defence there was Adam McKenzie. But Hancock oh. goes a cold or risky oh. kick. The panic oh. goes up. The smallest player takes a great mark. Now let's fly a high up and under. Broadbeach had a strong mark. Quick. And they do get one. Quick. Nathan Quick once again. And here's a prime target there for the Cats up forward. It'll take his time to go back and have a set shot at goal. Judged it better than everybody else. Panic at the first one. He, Mitch Brewer was in that pack, but somehow Panic came out with a mark. Kicked a bit of a, an up and under, but uh, Quick's going to lay it off here again. And by the it's target, Scott. so good precise work there by uh, the Cats forward. who's certainly taking a, a bit of a breather. And the number 23 for Broadbeach, Nick Scott, will go back a little bit closer to goal. Kicking for about 45 metres on a slight angle. Where should we be aiming here, Jared? Uh, outside left goal post, I would have thought, uh, Brownie. And you and predicted it beautifully. That's why you're here this afternoon, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> and uh, Nick Scott, uh, this beautiful kick. And the Cats get their uh, fifth goal of the afternoon. At the, come up to the 12 minute mark of the second term. 5-4-34, now that's a two goal lead over Redlands who are 3-4-22. Yeah, good work again by Quick. He's uh, very unselfish in front of goal. Dish that one off to Scott who finished beautifully, but uh, Quick and Shreve have just been on fire in the second quarter. And uh, Redlands are going to need to do something about Shreve because if he keeps, uh, keeps racking up the possessions like this, they might find themselves uh, a bit further behind at halftime. And uh, they've got the two big guns, big guns up there in Pullman and Gartner, but just uh, starting to get the ball out of it quickly enough at the moment. No, they uh, need to get their hands on a few out of the centre and they, they really need some hit-outs, mate, because uh, Brewer's just, uh, he's been very good in there, as has Clark. That was about 50-50, good work by Miller, got the ball down to Cass. Now Cass and the lead is on here to Gartner. Oh, risky handball, why don't you go back yourself, son, have a shot at goal, which for the handball to Steve, and it came unstuck, good work by Crawford, put his body on the line there, being slung out of the contest on that occasion was Stewart for Broad Beach. And the umpire crosses his arm, says it's mine. And he'll throw the ball up just inside attacking 50 for Bombers. And I'd love a goal here to get back within that one straight kick. Gartner doing the ruck work against Big Brewer. But good work by Fife. Over to Geary. It was slung high by Byrne. How the umpire pay this one? Holding the ball. And Geary claiming it was tackled high. The umpire didn't see it that way. It was right on the spot. So Adam Byrne, half against the boundary, wants to come back here. And he finds Scotty Miller. Miller now, oh, kicks right off the boot. Lucky player and support there was Thompson. Chris Variety for Redlands. I go back to the left forward pocket. Is that Zufa all the way yes. down from the back line? He might have a shot here. Oh, yeah. Prodigious kick of the footy, Zufa. Spent a couple of years at the Brisbane Lions, as we know. Need to start this at, uh, at the right point post, I reckon, Brownie, if there's going to be any, any chance. Wrong side for the left foot kick, but as you see, he's got that breeze able to work for him. You see the kick there, see how close he is to the boundary line. It's not a bad attempt, the ball holding up. Brewer goes oh. up, uncontested. Well, the Bombers Redlands. coach, yeah, wouldn't like that. And Brewer take an easy mark to Geary. Away here, might have been McKenzie. Oh. And the ball cut off at the half-back flank. The catcher, no, something off the ball, advantage paid. Scott goes back inboard to his skipper there in five. Risky kick at the centre half-back. The mark's taken by McKenzie as well. They're yeah. out here, Templeton's on his own. Yeah, from Emery to Templeton. And the short kick, they're looking for Pantic. He misses him. Trick kick in, here's a chance there for Burton at the front position. The ball knocked away from him. Redlands don't want to concede a goal here. Coming up to the 14 and a half minute mark, second turn. Picked up by Scott. Kicked the last goal for the uh, Cats. Oh, running the ball there was Big Reynolds. Five, come over. Players. Redlands now in trouble being held up there was Jack Goodall and the umpire paying the benefit of the doubt so the ball was held too the ball will be thrown up 40 metres directly in front of the uh, Broadbeach goal who lead it by 12 points. They've got three loose behind the footy here Broadbeach. Brewer's on his own, so is McKenzie, so is Searle. So it just means a lot of work for oh. Redlands to do to come up and Brewer came unstuck there. He came across the wall there at half forward line. Well that's good defensive work by Matt Thompson. The ball goes ricochets the favour of Scott. But uh, no one had the last line of defence. And the Bombers trying to get the ball up their end. Salto is now a chance. The ball bounces for him nicely on across that outer wing. Now he's got the run of uh, Tommy Michael. Of course, uh, brother Sam plays for the Brisbane Lions. But his kick here had three Redlands players all by themselves in the centre. 
So and all I could do is find Josh Searle for Broad Beach. It turns squares off to Greeley and a good pass and finding Broad Beach teammate there. Here's Emery. And a bit of waste opportunity there from uh, Broad Beach. Panting it was the player who went to ground looking there for Emery and couldn't capitalise on a quick foray to the forward 50. Well, he had to uh, kick it quicker. quicker, Emery. He just went back, held it up off one step and uh, knocked it out of bounds. And you can tell the players, uh, right on top of the interchange areas here as Ben Wells presents himself. A little Walton's going to get it back immediately. Tackled by Carson, slung to the ground. Now a chance for the Bombers. Gartner to the run of Gruer who can keep on running here. Will he back himself? Measures the kick for Paul at the back. He's got the sit of the ball. Keep bouncing. Oh, it bounces through. Well, the way he's played so far, Gruer deserves a goal. And he gets an important one there for Redlands. Margin back to within six points. 4 4 28. The Bombers trail the Cats by one straight kick. 5 4 34. And uh, we are coming up, I think, around the uh, 20 minute mark here in the second term. That's 17 minute mark we are, Brownie. Well done then by Pullman. He could have flown for that mark, but he let the ball go over the top and uh, and grew a rolled that one through for a goal. So uh, goal of difference here. Uh, Brewer back into the ruck against Reynolds. And uh, entertaining second quarter. Two goals apiece so far. And it's been a goal for goal. So good work there by Reynolds. That's what they need to do. They capitalised a couple of errors there from the, the Cats. Spinning out of the tackle there was Sam Godfrey. They cost up the ball eventually, Shreve. The ball touched off the boot, and it's down there towards Clark. How the ball bounced. Well, kept in play there by Redlands. I'm sure he's looking there for uh, Burn the up. I wouldn't penalise him for that. And the ball's gone out of bounds. 20 metres around from the Cats' goal. There'll be a throw in. Pretty risky there from Redlands. I thought that one would have been better off going through for a point, but he's uh, tried to keep it in. Approaching 18 minute mark, the second turn. Cats lead it. At home by one straight kick, quick kick out of the pack there. And might have been from Hancock and through for my score. No, across the face and out of bounds for another throw in. Still opportunity here for Broad Beach. Clark doing the right work. Can they get a goal here? Burton had the ball but slung off it. Now, quick kick out goal. of the uh, pack there. And could have been quick, Clark, mate. Clark or quick. And it is quick, I'll give it to quick there, and a quick kick out. On that well, occasion, brings up his uh, second goal of the afternoon. And back out to a 12 point lead for the Cats, 6 4 40. Redlands, 4 4 28. Great opportunistic goal. It was, uh, he's had a, had a good influence on the game. Quick, mate, uh, Geary coming off here for Broadbeach, limping, that's not a good sign. Been pretty good today, Cal, but uh, not moving too well at the moment. Well, one thing's for sure with this uh, breeze, the players have to work hard. It's just uh, no easy kicks as we'd expect. No, that's right. Tough conditions, but uh, not a bad standard again, considering. Yep, absolutely. So, 10 goals between the two teams. Broadbeach Ball, got the majority of them. From that centre contest, though, Matt Thompson comes away with the ball, looking there for the big man in Gartner on the half forward flank. Couldn't quite trap it on the first occasion. Under pressure from Emery, they're going to get the ball back here, or will they? Good defensive work there from by Broadbeach. Emery As clearing there. Ball goes over the heads of players. Nick Scott's involved. Ball on the outer side. Now a chance here for the That's Cats. Searle. Through Searle. It's that left shoulder heavily taped. And Broadbeach now through Thompson. Got the handball away to a teammate. As Gartner shoved his opponent out of the way. The umpire calls player. Another chance here for the Bombers. But Lazy handball there from Gartner, couldn't get it to a teammate in time. Wells put him under pressure, sold her. Bit of class there, spun out of the tackle. Now a chance once again for the Bombers to go 15 metres. The umpire said it did from Godfrey. Ends Zufa. up with Zufa. So Zufa playing a more forward role in the second term. Absolutely, and uh, Salter there, as you said, showing a bit of class, hit the target, and uh, couldn't think of anybody uh, better to have it in the hands at the moment, mate, from uh, kicking from 50. And it's a fair run-up he's got here. Daniel Zufa. We saw two weeks ago the uh, Southport Brisbane Lions game. Marco Pepperoni spent the whole game at one end of the ground. Yeah. Oh. Extra defender uh, when they were defending and extra forward or forward there when attacking and a kick from Zufa just veers off the left-hand side through for a minor score. 4-5-29, 11 point game. They trail the Cats who are on 6-4-40. Now over 20 minute mark, the second turn. 
Cats bring the ball back into play. Emery next to go short out wide. Half back flank. Just want to retain possession here, Broad Beach. Don't want to cough the ball up such a dangerous area. And Emery just doing a bit of kick to kick out there. Over there to Crawford. Gets on his left boot, looking for Burton. Ball didn't favour the uh, other Broad Beach player out there. Burton gets it back. Short kick. Tyler Jones beaten to the ball there. Good work by Broad Beach once again. Quick. And looking for quick there. Spore from behind by Jack Goodall. And now Pye pays a free kick to the Bombers there on the outer half back flank. Still plenty of time. But before the uh, major break, that's a poor disposal though. Crawford, ball should sit for him and it does. Gets on the uh, left boot. And Broadbeach have to bring the ball back into the centre. Panic might end up with it here. This is Walton. So Rory Walton, number two. Looking to set things up, looking for the lead from downfield. Ignores that. McKenzie. <coughs> As Brewer. His ball doesn't quite meet the target though. And Pullman. Coming down from full four to help out his defenders here. Over Cass. Beats one tackle. Gets the handball over there to Burn. Oh. His handball misses the target, which was Howard. So a chance here for the Cats once again. Players gone down in the uh, centre there, and Sean Wilson. Quick kick in there to uh, the forward zone, but Zufa working hard at both ends of the ground takes the relieving mark. And now finds Reynolds now on the broadcast uh, halfback flank. As uh, Kieran Emery's just come off the ground there, so uh, Gartner, I'm not sure who's picking him up at the moment. Looks like Stewart's gone back, mate, to play on Gartner. Number 12, And Templeton is still with Pullman. Of course, uh, the Bombers have lost uh, Sam Pullman. As the ball close to the boundary line here, and right in front of the Redlands in a change area, there'll be a boundary throw in. Between wing and half forward. Gartner's pushed deep here, mate. He's in the goal square now with Darren Stewart aboard. Boundary throw in was quick. Brewer once again has it all to himself. Walton, quick kick away over the head of Shreve. Chance for Boone now, picks the ball up. Handball to Reynolds on the bounce. He put his teammate under pressure there in Godfrey. We got rid of the ball. Good slick handball. Thompson over to Tyler Jones. He can kick the opening goal of the match in the first turn from the boundary line. Finds Pringle. Now Pringle's got some space. Squares the yep, ball back beautifully. Him. Great vision to Gartner. And good work. He's done a couple of good things so far in this first half there, Zane Pringle. Yeah, that was a beautiful kick on inside 50 uh, to the advantage side and Gartner goes back, uh, lining up for number number three. Yes, yeah, kicked a goal in the first term, or he's kicked a goal in the second term. Outside another set right. shot too, yep. Another mark inside 50 there for Redlands. Looking to the right-hand side. It's oh, hot over the breeze. In fact, he's got the ball to hold it flying. He makes no mistake. He lost a celebration. And now it brings up his third goal of the match. And in this close contest, the margin back to five points. Redlands 5-5-35. Five, five, Broadbeach 6-4-40. Approach the 24-minute mark, second quarter. Stewart now coming off, rotating. And uh, Emery heading back down there to, uh, to pick up Gartner behind the footy. Well, that was good vision there by uh, Pringle once again. Uh, super kick. And... Bombers' ability there to work their ball through quickly through the centre corridor as well to advantage. Yeah, well, they got it out to the uh, the far side of the ground and uh, brought it back in when they went inside 50 and uh, reaped the rewards there, Brownie. So margin was four points at quarter time, and Broad Beach have only extended that by one point. Approaching half time, Clark doing the uh, right work for Broad Beach, and they get the centre clearance down towards their up forward line. The ball bounces off Howard. In fact, it's his boot. Crowd cried for out of bounds to the full and they got it. So the kick to be brought in here by Keeley. Number 29. Goes in short. The player slips over at the final stage there in Pantic. So what can the Bombers do here? A few players there slipping over there at the vital stage. Stephen Orr goes in hard on McKenzie. And he goes in again, Stephen. And uh, catching McKenzie high, immediately plays on to Pantic. Held up in traffic there, so he's forced to dish the ball off. Ball's going to come back to McKenzie. He's got a bit more time. And to the center corridor, the mark's taken by Benny Wells. Redlands. Oh, the numbers back, and the ball just finds the target in time in Shreve, just inside the boundary line. Looking for Big Brewer. He's got the sit here. Can he take the mark? No, the ball's sucked down there by Scott. Hancock's in there. 
Redlands defence under pressure. A chance for Zufa. Just gets the ball under the boot and kicks the ball quickly. Jake Jones. Oh, oh it was like, done, like a slips catch. Almost a great effort there. Well, it was a great effort. Almost pulled the mark in and cast. Gang tackled to the ground. The umpire will throw the ball up. Virtually the centre of the ground here at Broad Beach. The Cats leading it by five points at the 26-minute mark. Clark again. Gets the uh, punch or tap out to advantage. Little short kick there by Scott. So they had a panic. Now a chance for Burton. He lines up. 30 metres out and puts it through. Valuable goal there to the Cats. Nathan Before half quick. time. How good was that handball from Quick? Picked it up one grab, very low. Dished it straight to Burton who finished. Brilliant stuff from Quick. That's his second. And a good set shot goal from earlier in this term, which just cleared the pack. And that time on the run, set it himself. And put the ball through. So they're getting out to that uh, 12 point margin again. In fact, it's 11 points. 7 4 46 the Cats and Redlands 5 5 35. As I said, an entertain, entertaining game. Absolutely. Nearly 27 minutes gone here in this second quarter. Red time goal to Broad Beach. Kicks them out to uh, 11 points in front. Clark back into the ruck. And this time the ball favouring uh, or going outside the uh, outer circle. So the umpire this time will throw the ball up on this occasion. So here we go for take two. Good effort there by uh, Tommy Michael doing the ruck work. Once again, Broadbridge get the clearance. Shreve, ball over here to Pantic. Back inside, there is uh, Clark. Clark gets on the left boot. And in fact, there's Paddy. It must have been from McKenzie earlier. Play and on. He plays on oh. or trying to sell the dummy. Held up. Ball goes in short. And the ball does fall short into the arms of Scott Miller. The risky kick, though, but from Miller. Looking there for his skipper and Salter. He's tackled by McKenzie. And in fact, it went out of bounds. It'll be a throw in. So the Cats with a handy 11 point lead. And we still the challenge of the bomb as well in the second term. Yeah, with the 28 minute mark, Broadbeach probably the only uh, only chance to score here. Kicking to the right of screen, Brewer, great hit out again. But Bombers looking through, Brewer to get the ball away, and Zufa held up in a tackle, forces the turnover. Crawford comes in, he's tackled though by Howard, sent to the ground, and good attacking play from both players. It might have been Nathan Reed on that occasion. So, well, Grew, in fact, it was. Ball thrown up once again. Tom Michael up against uh, Clark. A big job to do. Duck the head. Crawford could be in trouble here. Up high court play on. There'll be another ball up. So, in this second term, the catcher kicked uh, four goals, two. Good kicking under the breezy conditions. And likewise, the Bombers kicked three goals, one. And another ball up. I think both sets of teams are happy to see the half-time break. Absolutely. It uh, can't be long left here, but um, Clark against Michael. Interesting battle in the ruck here. And well done by Michael. Got the kick away. Thompson, so a late oh. chance here for Redlands. On the outside, there's a chance for Williams. Gets the ball. Now a little short kick. And they Good will get kick. a chance there, the Bombers. Good kick on the left from Williams. He found Paul went un marked in the centre corridor as Cass. And this could well be the uh, last attacking play for the half. And the number one for Redland Bombers cast will go back and have a set shot of goal. Try to bring his first up for the first goal up for the afternoon. Quick back on for Broadbeach as cast comes in on 50. Needs to start it right. And has he started far Not far, far off? enough. No. You go out there, give him a kicking lesson uh, during we'll half time chat, there, Jared. We'll <laughs> have a chat to him at the break, uh, Browning. No problems. So almost the half-time siren, an opportunity there uh, missed for the Bombers. Only a minor score. And the Cats bring it in, short kick, finding Wells. Shreve now, and there it is. Half-time, right on the stroke of uh, 30 minutes that second term. And the uh, Cats will go into the uh, main break with a 10 point lead. How'd you see the first half, Jared Field? Yeah, it was a good good, uh, good half of footy. Brownie sort of, uh, Redlands opened up, but then Broadbeach uh, took control in that, uh, in that first quarter. But uh, Redlands have hung in there. Their, their ground level midfielders are going pretty well, considering the dominance of 
Brewer and Clark and the Ruck cast and, and Solder and Thompson are starting to get their hands on it to keep them in the game. But uh, they're going to have to do something here because uh, the Broad, Broadbeach Ruckman are just uh, just doing it as, as they like. So uh, Redlands at ground level really going to have to uh, lock on and try and uh, even up the, uh, the stoppage count uh, if they're to stay in the game, mate. Two goals apiece for the Cats to uh, Nick Burton and Nathan Quick. Singles to uh, Callan Geary, Nick Scott and Josh Clark. And for the Bombers, Steve Gardner, leading goal kicker there with three goals. Singles there to Blake Brewer and Tyler Jones. Kick the uh, first goal of the match. Half time here at Broadbeach and it's the home team leading it by 10 points. 7-4-46, Redlands 5-6-36. And welcome back to h and Oval, Broadbeach on the Gold Coast. Second half about to get underway between the Cats and the Bombers. Broadbeach with a 10-point lead. And of course, trying to break their duck on home turf this season. Played three, and we'll be taking a restart. Andrew Brown and Jared Field with you here on NEFA Live TV. And uh, Jared, what can we expect here in the second half? Well, there's uh, no changes as far as the key matchups go, Brownie. It's uh, status quo, so we'll see what uh, see how this unfolds this third quarter. Redlands, though, a man down, losing Sam Pullman in the first half to a calf injury. So uh, whether that be a fact or not, well, it remains to be seen. Thompson now leads in the race to the ball. Close here on the broadcast wing. Slung to the ground, strong tackle there by Ben Wells. The umpire crosses his arms and uh, will throw the ball up. Leading goal kicker on the field, Steve Gartner for the Bombers has three. Two goals each to Nick Burton and Nathan Quick for the Cats. All right, Broadbeach breaking away. Handball back to Fife. Fife at half back. Kicks down the line. Here's Hancock in front. Good spoil from Redlands. Howard, handball to Cass. Cass goes straight up the line. Good contest there at centre forward. Ball comes down. Ryan Panic. Quick handball to Templeton. Switches the play to the attacking side of the ground. Shreve's all on his own out here. Shreve's had plenty of it. Kicks wide. Looking for Burton. Good kick from Shreve. Burton plays on, wheels around on the right foot, turns it inboard. Josh Clark overshoots Clark. Scott with a handball to Fife. Fife, ordinary kick. Down towards Stewart. Punch down the front. Stewart trying to gather it in. Redlands backman dive on it, lock it up. And it'll be a ball up about 25 metres out from Broadbeach goal, far side of the ground. Yes, yeah, the cat trying to obviously capitalise on there. 10 point advantage at the main break, kicking at the other slide breeze. Shreve just comes in once again, pounces on it, has a shot at goal. This veers offline and through for a minor score. First score of the second half, going to the Cats, behind there to Luke Shreve. And move on to uh, 47, now to 36. As Redlands now bring the ball out of the defensive zone. Broadcast side, under the hammer. Got the kick away though, just in time there. The Bombers there, Howard. Good ball from behind though by Emery. Receives the applause from his teammates underneath us here on the Broadbeach interchange bench. There'll be a boundary throw in true centre wing. Good turn out. I reckon, uh, Jared, the breeze has died down a little bit here. It doesn't seem to be as bad as what it was in the first half, Brownie. So we'll see how that affects the scoring. Clark down the front to Walton. Quick kick out. Thompson gets it. Handball to Cast. Turns back onto the left. Handball back. Cast again. The old one-two. Inboard. Here's Salter in some space. Goes inside 50. Looking for Pullman. Good spoil from Templeton. Ball comes down. Pringle lays a good tackle there. Quick hands out from Redlands. Fife again. Clearing kick out towards Geary in space. Needs to keep it in. Does so. Good play from Geary. Down the member side of the ground. Hits up Stewart. Good hands, Darren Stewart. Goes in board to Shreve. Shreve, diving mark. Takes the mark. Shreve, about to turn inside 50. Looking for Brewer. Great spoil there from the Redland defender. Comes down. Burton can't quite grab it. Well done, Thompson in there. Scrappy play, Thompson again. Hanging on to him, Shreve, he's giving away the free. So a free kick there, going to the, uh, the headbander there, Thomas. Thompson, over the top, finds Howard. In a bit of space, likes to go for a quick bounce. Trying to find the target there for his skipper there in Salter, but Crawford beat him to the punch. It's a poor kick on that occasion. And one in hiding the yes. ball is gonna be pinged against him. Great tackle, Salter. And Solder now immediately picks the ball up, plays on, sends the ball into attack. Where's the tall timber? We well, had Pullman and Gartner there, he missed both of them. Falls away of the Cats. Wells now comes streaming out of defence. Finds there the run of uh, Greeley. Stops and props. He's got Geary over the top, that lead's ignored. And Hancock presents himself now in the broadcast swing. Hancock 
looking for Stewart. Kick goes over the top. Thompson there, lurking behind the pack. Geary, good tackle, good forward pressure from the Cats. Geary in there, Pringle feeds it back. Burton gets the foot. He could have been tackled high. Needs to get rid of it. Play on, says the umpire. Redlands clear. Reynolds gets it out. Burton, well done from Burton. Looking for quick. Cast front and square again. Cast clears. Switches the play. Salter's on his own out here on the far side. Terrible bounce for Salter though. Scott, one on three. Got good support here. Redlands and Zufa takes a mark on halfback. So Zufa, been a setting influence. Spent a bit of time up forward, kicking with the breeze in the second turn. Now playing this third quarter across the back line. Found Thompson there, the crisp variety. And it's now Cast and Cast. Good vision. Out wide is Howard. Howard now goes in board and Tyler Jones virtually almost where he kicked the goal in the first term, in fact kicked the first goal of the match, has the uh, ball in the left half forward flank, probably testing his range here, he's right on the edge of 50, leans back That's though, kick. he's done it almost again, Gartner's at the back though, will take the mark, right next to the behind post, and Port Beach is disappointed with themselves for uh, the laid it off. he has, and good oh. vision once again, and is that Pullman down there, yes, it, it plays is. on, Josh Pullman screws it around, a big kick oh, towards missed. goal, and you can't believe he's missed it. But he has, the right-hand side, and kicks his second behind of the afternoon. In fact, his goal is so far, his partner in crime, Gartner's got three. And so we'll catch up the scores in a moment, but Broad Beach, uh, Jared, ready to bring the ball back out of their defensive zone. The ball's in the hands of Geary. Geary's got it, kicks outside 50, looking for Templeton. Up he goes, comes down, numbers here, Broadbeach, Shreve again, puts the afterburners on, gets onto the left foot, looking for Stewart, forward of centre, Stewart needs to keep it in, in board and he can't, yeah, Balls just, just, just fall. come off his foot there Stewart, yep. and uh, it'll be a free kick to Redlands to be taken by Dylan Byrne, half back flank, members side of the ground, plays on, risky stuff, going into the corridor, good kick though to Howard. Howard, handball to Cass. He's had plenty of it in the start of this third quarter. Short kick to Salter. Far side wing now. Heading out, Crawford and uh, looks like Reynolds. Crawford wins this one. Fife kicks round the corner to Killy. Killy marks, plays on. Chip to Scott, can't quite get him. Keeps it in board though. Hancock's on in the middle if he can get it to him. Brewer comes over the top. Cleared the pack, but uh, Redlands have got the numbers. Here's Grewer. Handball out. Coming out of the members' side wing here. Foot race here. It's Greeley. But the Redlands player, he's too quick. That's Scott Miller. Young Scott Miller. Good kick up the line. Out of bounds. Centre wing, members' side. So early stages in this third quarter, and goals all of a sudden hard to come by. The combined total of 12 in the uh, first half. Seven to Broad Beach and five to Redlands. But early stages, only a couple of behinds. The margin still at the half-time break of 10 points here. So the catch, 47 plays 37. Oh. The broad beach to do here, McKenzie can't keep the ball in. The ball will be uh, thrown in right in front of the uh, Redlands interchange area. And I mentioned, of course, they're down a man. Sam Pullman doing the calf in the first half. And about to throw in takes place. Ruckman set themselves. There was a Clark ahead of Reynolds. Pulls the advantage of McKenzie. And Wells was there. The ball once again goes out of the bounce. An opportunity to take some uh, quick changes. Yeah, some rotations here. Wells coming off. Sean Wilson coming off. Greeley coming off. Shreve on. Cass off the ground. And Boone on. So uh, changes everywhere while the ball's here on centre wing. Throw in. Clark behind. Gets the hit. Grewer. Good take. Good tackle there by Searle. The pressure around the foot is uh, up the ante. McKenzie gets a quick kick forward. Good contest there at half five. Fife runs onto it though. Can he get the handball out to Shreve? Shreve on his own. He's good on the left. He swings it into the corridor. Looking for Brewer. Great spoil there from Zufa. Comes across the front and punches it out of bounds. Uh, Daniel Zufa. Saving grace there on that occasion for Redlands. As Brewer was, was on, the, uh, on the right side there. Take that mark. But uh, short boundary throw, what can Brewer tee? Took the ball out of the pack, oh! the shot at goal, Mitch Brewer, and oh! it's the woodwork. So a vain attempt there, it's only a minor score once again. Another behind to the home team, the Cats. The Cats an 11 point lead, it's 48 to 37. Played about uh, eight minutes here in the third quarter. As Redlands now comes streaming out of the defensive zone. Pullman out a long way from full forward, takes the mark in the centre of the ground. 
player out wide in support. Doing some rock work there, Tom Michael. Michael now likes to go with the handball back to his skipper and Salter. And good tackle though by Wilson. Put him under pressure. Ball spills back to Goodall though. He went over the top, Grewer, the umpire caught play on. Grewer's trying to claim the mark. Now a chance for the Cats. They've got the numbers down forward. Brewer now one on one, forced to backtrack though. Ball spoil behind, good punch behind into the hands of Reynolds. Back to Zufa. And Redlands come away now. A race on between uh, Pringle and, Jones. and also Jack jo Jake Jones. And the ball sees both players over the line. And there'll be a boundary thrown between wing and half forward. 11 point game here in the third quarter. Redland in sixth spot on the ladder. Four wins and four losses. And Broadbeach three and six sitting on eight. Clark against Michael. Clark wins the hit out. Comes out. Boone. Quick snap inside 50. Templeton could have given one away there, but it's a good strong mark to Pullman. Pullman's got it. He's probably uh, 30 metres out in front of the uh, the new change rooms here. Members side of the ground. We need to be aiming left post here, Brownie, I would have thought. Yep. Templeton not moving well, mate. He's on the mark. He's limping here. This could be uh, this could be bad news here for Broadbeach as Pullman wanders in. Looks okay off the boot. Goal umpire has not moved, and it's a it's his first. Pullman has got his first, and Redlands edge that little bit closer. Broadbeach seven six forty eight to Redlands uh, six seven. 43, five point lead to Broadbeach here as Templeton comes off the ground with uh, some sort of leg injury. We'll just check in with the uh, the guru, Gary Fox, and find out what the problem is down there. Yeah, well, if we have the stats, the marks inside 50 for both teams be interesting. And uh, it was Broadbeach got the one prime forward down there in Brewer, also Clark, and Nathan Quick has been good down there as well. But with that tall timber there, the Twin Towers of Gardner and Pullman, and give me something, something uh, for Broadbeach to think about in this third quarter. As the umpire will take two, probably just throw the ball up anyway, I would suggest, under these conditions. So Stewart's gone back to cover for Templeton. Stewart's now on uh, on Pullman and Emery on Gartner in the goal square. Kick out of mid-air there by Thompson for uh, Bombers. And the chase is on once again towards the boundary line. Thompson got a bit of a nudge there from McKenzie. And hope you see the ball over the line for a throw in. Uh, Clark for the Cats and Reynolds for the Bombers to do the right work. Five points of difference. Close contest here between these two teams. McKenzie strongly tackled by Stephen. Got the ball away to Wilson in turn to five as Broadbeach go forward once again. Players come across half forward. No contest from Broadbeach. No disappoint Matt Angus. And the relieving mark there taken by Chris Thompson. Over to Byrne. Looking for cars and a very sticky centre. Ball almost got stuck in the mud there. And Boone, in fact, lost traction completely. Cops the ball up now. A chance for Broadbeach to capitalise. Shreve over to Pantic. Pantic. Inside 50, one on one. Hancock edges his man under the footy, plays on, puts it out in front of Geary. Good spoil from Redlands. Geary gets it front and square. Feed back to Shreve. Opens it up on the fat side, looking for quick, but the kick's not going to get there. Panic comes in. This is Greeley, spins out, gets a high snap. Brewer, one on one, the big fella, and he gives away the free kick. Redlands will clear. What a great smother there from Searle. Hancock wraps it up. Searle on the left. Shabby kick, Geary off the deck. No, well done, Redlands. Good play, fair. good defence there. They uh, great defence. Probably there for could Redlands, have conceded yeah. a goal, but did really well to scramble that out of bounds. And the danger not over yet. The ball in the left forward pocket for the Cats, trying to get their first goal of this second half. Only goal, very similar to the first quarter where Redlands kicked the uh, first goal, for the non-scoring end, and Cast just grabs the ball out of the ruck. Well, from, that, uh, from the crumbs there, just kicked the, hacked the ball out of danger. End up with uh, Thompson, who's strongly tackled to the ground there by Shreve. The Cats are getting the ball back here. Jake Jones sends the ball to a tackle, and the ball smothered off the boot. Ball bounces unkindly there for Brewer. Back to the dangerous Grewer. Brewer and Grewer, that's a good combination. <laughs> Opposite teams. A high up and under. Walton's got to sit and wait for it. He does well. Takes the mark, backing back to the flight of the ball. And here's a chance now for the Cats of a set shot for goal 40 metres out. On a 45 degree angle, as been saying throughout this game. Just aimed at that right hand goal post, Jared. That's the one, mate. Rory Walton, he's uh, not a super kick, but generally oh, set shot. Put the on straight away. His set shot goal <laughs> kicking is not too bad, so we'll see where this goes. Experienced campaigner for the club. Absolutely. He's a uh, premiership player at Claremont last year, mate, but uh, was here two years ago at, uh, at the Cattery, so 
Oh, uh, disappointed with that one. Good. Has that scraped in? No, he's missed everything. So, uh, disappointing result there for the number two. And uh, now it'll be Brad Howard, the Bombers, to bring the ball back into attack. So, good work so far in this third quarter for Redlands, about 13 minute mark. Well, I'm sure the message from the coach will just contain the Cats in this third quarter, be close enough heading into the final break. And they're doing that so far. It's only a five point game. Broad Beach 48, leading Redlands 43. And the Bombers trying to work the ball out of defensive zones, retain their handballs. Cass Howard back to Cass now. Over the top there to Tyler Jones. Given space by his teammate. Ball bombed into a bit of space there towards uh, Pullman to run into. He got the ball first, showed great determination. Now squares the ball, off, looking for Gru as the front position. And he takes the mark, the redhead. Now who's at home? Gartner's going back. He wants the ball in quickly. He's got, he's got to sit on Emery. He goes to the float behind. Picked up the comes beautifully here by Pringle. Pringle though, the ball spun off the boot and the ball slapped back to Emery and Broadbeach can relieve the pressure and Wilson drags the mark in. Wilson kicks out to the far wing, looking for Brewer, the big fella in front, stands his ground, takes the mark. Just in front of the scoreboard, looks in board, nothing on there, so he's going down the line. Hancock presents, good spoil by Zufa, in front, picks it up. A big left foot to Robito inside 50, Pringle in the gun here. Emery. Picks it up, dishes the handball off. Out to Crawford, on the left. Out to Shreve again on his own. Had an absolute picnic out here today, Shreve. Gets it down, Jones on the handball receive. Will have a bounce. Jake Jones, looking inside 50. Kicks it out in front. Oh, it's good defensive mark there in front of Clark. Good defensive play by Redlands there. Clark working the mark hard. Risky kick inside, Geary just about cuts it off. Goes to panic. Panic on 50, has a bounce, dishes off the handball. That's, this is Walton, chips it inside 50. Hancock gives away the free again with a nudge under the footy. And that's Reynolds will take the free kick. Yeah, it was Nathan Reed just before showing great courage. And now the ball ends up here with uh, Chris Thompson, little left foot chip kick. Now can allow Salter in if he can use his pace, can break the tackle. Oh, strong tackle from McKenzie, slung the ball away. Deliberate, said the umpire, free kick go the way of Broadbeach. So the Cats still goalless in this third quarter. And McKenzie on that outer side, tips it in, finds Pantic. So the, uh, the smaller brigade of Broadbeach really trying to get that things moving forward and finds another one there in Geary. It'll shove to go on with, kick the uh, first goal for Broadbeach for the game in this first quarter. And I'd love him to do it again. They're struggling, it's just a high up and under. And they had a packed situation. Shree, the ball fell out of his hands. It's a quick hack away there by Reed. Good defensive work. That wide, Pringle and Wells there. Ball bounces unkind for Pringle. Ball came there, back to Wells. Little left foot kick, disappointed with that. Right on the boundary line, bounces inside. There'll be a throw in. So still on the attacking half forward line for Broadbeach. A lot of work to do though. The wind blowing towards that left forward pocket. A lead it by five, five points, about the 16 minute mark of the third quarter. Brewer in the ruck against Reynolds. Brewer wins the hit, comes down towards Wilson, can't get his hands on it. Players going in, that's young Miller with the footy, wrapped up, probably have a rebound here, I think. Hancock Bye. caught with it now by Cass. And the umpire says, I'll have it, thanks fellas. Right on 50. I think the players are trying to tell the umpire something. I think they want the ball to be a ball Absolutely. to disperse the pack. Umpire letting it go. Walton out of the pack. Fires at goal with a floater that goes through. Rory Walton. Great stuff from the stoppage from Broadbeach. And they extend. That's in Rory Walton's first. Extend their lead to 11 points. But uh, well done there from Walton. That uh, makes up for the one that he missed for the yeah. set shot from just about the same spot a couple of minutes ago. Absolutely. He found it uh, a bit easy with no time to think. So. Uh, Good work there for the uh, Cats, and look, they're just maintaining that buffer, aren't they? I know Redlands get back within four or five points, but uh, as soon as they do that, the Cats can, can go out to uh, 11 point, 12 point margin again. Absolutely, a bit of a change here. Quick's gone forward, but also Templeton. Templeton came off injured a couple of minutes ago. He's been playing key defence. He's now gone to uh, what looks like the traditional centre-half forward spot for Broadbeach. Being picked up now by Zufa. And Emery's still on Gartner down there. We'll see who's picking up Pullman for the Cats in a moment. On the centre bounce, McKenzie tried to break the tackle, had no luck, Brewers had to pick the ball up. We're just searching handball for uh, Panic. the ball stuck in the mud pot, they want to get the ball out of there quickly, and McKenzie did well. Now over the top there to uh, Geary, back to uh, McKenzie. 
Uh, picked up on the half volley, tackled high there, was five written into the ground. The umpire called play on there. So, I so said the player's trying to get away from that slippery centre. And the ball, I can't quite trap it there, was Williams, eventually did. Oh, there was a shove out there from Pullman, no doubt about that. And the free kick there going Manning. to Stewart. So Stewart picking up the big fellow in Pullman and Broadbridge take the yep. ball away. Jake Jones going down towards quick in front, drops the sticky footy. Feed out the back to Redlands, it's Zufa. Zufa with a handball over to Chris Thompson, younger brother of Matt, up the wing. Good spoil by Fife, knocks it out of bounds. Centre wing, far side of the ground. Good spot to attack from out there with the breeze uh, very strong coming across this way. Brewer in the ruck, gets there first, knocks it down the front. Big pack of players over the football here and I think the umpire will recall this and we'll have another bounce in exactly the same spot from where the throw in landed. So Templeton's at centre half forward for the Cats, being picked up there by Jack Goodall. As the umpire throws the ball up, if we can get this all important uh, clearance, it's, it goes away with the Bombers. And over the back of the head, fingers there, Pullman oh. Gartner came streaming through over to Pringle. The ball bounces nicely for him, open goal, the Bombers get another one. That spoil then just had to come to the front. Ball went over the back, Pringle runs onto the loose, uh, the handball over the top, open goal, easy as you like. You just can't let the footy get behind you, Brownie. And uh, Redland's not in the Cats getaway either. Pringle bring up his first goal of the afternoon, that margin back to five points once again. It's 7 7 49, the Bombers. And Broad Beach, 8 6 54. And we're coming up to about the 19 minute mark here of the third quarter. Thompson back onto the ground. He'll head into the middle with Cass and Boone. Now, Cass coming out onto this wing actually is going to pick up Shreve. So this will be a good battle because Cass has had plenty of it in this third quarter, as has Shreve. So it'll be interesting to see if they're actually, uh, how tight they get here, Brownie, or are they just going to run their own race? And uh, a big ask. Two here for Tom Michael in the ruck now for the uh, Bombers. Of course, already down a, a man, Sam Pullman, with a calf injury. And wait for the umpire to uh, set himself. He's going to bounce the ball once again. And what can Brewer do here? Brewer hits it down. Thompson in front. Good tackle by Pantic. Then we'll have a restart here. Brewer will be looking to get some body on Michael here. Does so. Directs the hit, but Cass again, he's been very good in this third quarter. Jones gets a handball to no one in particular. Geary runs onto it. Thompson removes him. Smashes a kick towards 50, but a good defensive mark there from Wells. Switches the play, very, very risky, and they've turned it over here. And Gartner, 40 yards out directly in front, takes an uncontested mark, and we'll go back and have a shot. And this could put Redlands in front. That's the last person that uh, the Broadbeach supporters, Absolutely. players and the coach wanted to see, especially Ben yeah. Wells taking the mark, Gartner Risky. directly in front. Risky switch. Looking for goal number four, kicked three goals in the first half, including two in the second term. Gartner, just inside 50, starts it left, coming back and has slotted it and Redlands are in front. For the first, oh, not since the first quarter, Redlands, uh, Redlands hitting the front here by a solitary behind, 55 to 54 as Walton comes off for Broadbeach and Geary to come back on. Back up. But uh, yes, bad mistake there in the defensive 50 there from Broadbeach. That kick uh, just had to hit the target and if you're going to switch it in there, it's just got to be on Brownie. Yeah, it certainly is and uh, as you mentioned, back in front once again at Redlands, kicking uh, so far three goals to just one, so you have to say. The, what we might have thought was a non-scoring end, so Redland's working very hard and getting the rewards. Bounce once again going outside the uh, outer circle, and the umpire will uh, call the play back. Making plenty of rotations as you would expect uh, Broadbeach, obviously knowing that perhaps Bombers are one player down. They're so trying to increase the rotations. The ball back towards Shreve, they ran the ball though, allows Pringle in. Oh, so the dummy taken away there is Scott Miller, kicks the ball in towards the defensive zone. Extra play back there for the Cats. Surrounding there, Pullman, uh, capitalised here, Crawford, or going in low, and was it too low? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, went in too low there, Pullman, yeah. I think, and Crawford takes the result and free kick for below the knees. Righto, kicks it out wide, great spoil there. Shreve was in the box seat, but Pringle come over the top and smashed it into the social club. So, uh, point the difference here, we're about 22 minutes in. Brewer to go against Reynolds in the ruck. Five picking up Brewer at the moment. 
Instructions coming from the Broad Beach box. Ball comes down the front. McKenzie in first. Gets it out. Reynolds locks him up. Bit of a struggle trying to get a kick out there. Pandic on the footy and uh, we'll have another bounce. Right half forward for Broad Beach. Cast dropping back here to pick up the loose player in Wells. Tap out, Big bro. hit. Shreve on the left again. Pumps it forward. Templeton is going to run out of bounds, I think. Kicked a lot on the left today, Shreve. He's uh, pretty good both sides. He is good both sides of the body, isn't he? Yeah. Half, uh, half forward for Broadbeach. Brewer and Reynolds again. Brewer grabs a footy, drops it, feed to McKenzie, feed back to Panic, wrapped up in a ripping tackle from Salter, and we'll have a bounce. So one point game, biggest lead of the game. I think it's only been uh, 12 points by the Cats. And uh, Redlands have hauled that in from the tap down. Ball foil to McKenzie. Kicked the ball away while still being held. Pantic held the ball bounce for him. Chipping in, picking the ball up there was Killy. Now players dive on top of it. And now Pyle once again forced to come in and throw the ball up right on the edge of 50. And Broadbeach will love a goal here. Brewer shoves his opponent out of the way. Illegally said the umpire. Looked at the player first. Brewer not happy oh. for arguing back. He's in a copper penalty as well. Uh, Red Jengis will not be happy with that, giving away 50 for mouthing off at the umpire. So Redlands just want to keep uh, running the ball here. Keep that forward line open. Gartner and Pullman are down there. The ball just up to Cars. It's run down behind by Geary. Oh. In the back to the umpire. And well, that's going to uh, certainly excite the members in the crowd, as far as Broadbeach are concerned. But they're just going to get off the game here. The Bombers over to Zufa. Down towards the left forward pocket. And over running the ball there was Stewart. Well, there's Gartner in. He has the snapshot of goal, the ball bouncing. And great defensive work there by Waltz on the last line. Got his some fingers on it and put it through for a behind. And scores are all tied up here at Broadbeach on a Sunday afternoon. You're watching Neefal Live TV. Mitch Brewer marks. Defensive halfback for the Cats. Not much on down the line. Quick presenting. Brewer just slowing it down, just trying to keep control here. Switches the play short to McKenzie. McKenzie still inside defensive 50. He goes across the ground to Stewart. Marks just outside the goal square. Kicks it wide again to Emery. Takes a one-hander. Very casual, the big fella. Goes up the line. This looks like Jones on the far wing. Jones has got it. Chip over the top. Pringle against Burton. Pringle wins on this occasion. Feeds it back. Good handball. Oh, great smother from Burton. Great footy. Broadbeach player there wrapped up, could have been in the back, but it'll... yes it is. Free kick to Broadbeach, right half forward. Who's got that free kick there, Bernie, can you see? It's Jones, Jones has yeah. got it. Far side. Looking to go, kick the ball in quickly, but allows Redland now to uh, set back and try and stop any at mark. Now, Templeton had the front position, all and it came down to Boone, who was front and square. Over to uh, Dylan Byrne, who finds the skipper there in Salter. Gee, he's really worked hard right throughout the game, as you would expect there, the number 44. His little chip kick over the top, and the mark taken by Damien Stephen. So just slowing things down a bit here, Redlands, just regaining their composure, and just starving the catch of the ball at the moment across that half-back line. Bit of kick to kick as we approach three-quarter time. And a two-point game in favour of the uh, Bombers, 56 to 54. Zufa from a standing start. Little shove out there, and a good mark though, taken by uh, Emery. Emery out wide. And they go across now, switching play once again. And Bombers unable to pick up Shreve now with the ball bounce kindly for him. No, too much pressure with that uh, wind behind it. The ball bounces over the line to be thrown in right on the centre wing. Approaching three-quarter time, it's a two-point lead to the Bombers. Throw in, right in front of the stand. Looks like Geary and Boone in the ruck. Now there's an unusual ruck combination. Fife doesn't pick it up clean. Comes through Burton, Cast trying to pick it up. Boone again. Josh Clark picks it up though, the big ruckman. Doesn't get a kick away and gets pinged for dropping the ball. This is Godfrey, a good tackle. Goes out to the fat side, looking for Pullman. And he's got it, Pullman. Will the umpire pay it? He has. So we will have a kick after the siren from Josh Pullman. He's going to have to kick from just outside 50. I think the same thing happened at the end of the first quarter. Went for a minor yes, score, so let's see if we can learn here. He's a bit further out here, so we've got uh, 
Darren Stewart at about six foot three on the mark. And uh, we've got Emery and Clark in the goal square trying to prevent this goal. Pullman comes in on 50. Let's fly. Heading right, not going to make the distance, I don't think, and uh, no score. So, uh, three quarter time here at HA Oval. It's Broadbeach, 8 6 54, trailing Redlands, 8 8 56. So, what did you think, Brownie? Yes, well, it was a great quarter there by Redlands. They knew what they had to do to prevent Broadbeach getting a run on in that third quarter, in that third quarter like they did in the first quarter. They kicked three goals in the first term, but. At the same end, they've only managed uh, one goal two in that third quarter, while the Bombers kicked uh, three goals two to have that uh, two-point lead at the final break. Quickly, the uh, major goal kickers, two goals apiece for the uh, Cats to Burton and also quick not adding to their half-time total. Their only goal kicker in that third quarter was Rory Walton. And for the, Cat, uh, for the Bombers, Gartner has four, and the rest are all singles there to uh, Josh Pullman, Brewer, Pringle and Jones. So at three quarter time here at HA Oval, the home team trial by two points. Broadbeach 8654, Redlands 8856. So the final quarter about to get underway here at HA Oval, Broadbeach. It's only two points in it. Redlands trial by 10 points at the main break. They lead it by two points now, heading to the final turn, 56 to uh, 54 and play about to get underway for this final term. And the last time these two teams met here at Broadbeach ended up being a draw, and it's certainly on the cards at this stage. Umpire holds the ball off. Andrew Brown and Jared Field in commentary for you here on me for live TV. And we've got the close one this afternoon. All important game. Broadbeach looking to climb the ladder. Looking for their first, game, first win at home this season, in fact. All important centre clearance. They get a good start. They get a free kick. Out of the centre, it's going to the danger man there in Shreve. Out wide to Panic, the ball with the flight, with the breeze over his head. And over the boundary line, throw in to take place between wing and uh, forward. As I said, Jared Field also along for side men commentary. Brewer and Reynolds to do battle here. Centre wing. Reynolds in front probably gets the hit. Walton, handball by Panic. Thompson punches back. Josh Searle. There's going to be another ball up here, but Searle uh, on the bottom of the pack there. Good tackle by the young fella there in Jack Williams. Throws it up. Brewer taps it inboard. Handball comes out. This is Boone. Great tackle there by Shreve. He's been very good today, Shreve. He'll look to get it inside the attacking zone for Broadbridge. He goes with a short pass. Emery's on here and he's got it, the big fella. Well, there's a big change from uh, Matt Angus at yes. uh, three-quarter time to move Emery up forward. Templeton's gone back to Pullman and Emery gone to the key forward post. Will have his first shot on goal. What's he like? What's his form? Yeah, he's a chance here, Kieran, I reckon. He needs to start at uh, well outside left goal post, though. Does so. Ball coming back. It's going to be a contest in the goal square and punch through by Redlands, and it's uh, one behind. Makes it one point the difference in favour of Redlands. 8 8 56, lead Broadbeach 8 7 55. So Zufa to bring the ball back in for Redlands. Cross 4 and 4, and the umpire 50. Pinging uh, Broadbeach here for getting too close to the mark. Must admit the game has been played a pretty good spirit between uh, these two teams, uh, Jared. Absolutely, absolutely. It's been a, a good game of footy to watch, and uh, considering the conditions, we're pretty happy with that. Zufa goes short. Found Tyler it's Jones. Jones, there. The, the first goal kicker. Jones goes to the far side, kicks it out there looking for Thompson. Thompson and panic. One on one duel. Ball comes down. Handball fed up to Geary. Not a great handball there, but he backs up. Tries to get it through to Searle. Searle tackled very well. Geary again. Hits it out in front of the pass of Walton. Walton's going to be run down. He quickly gets a kick forward though. Redland defenders playing in front. Scott lays a tackle. Here's Burton bursting onto the footy at 50. Goes for home, Burton. It's drifting right. Bounces in. Zufa takes the easy, uh, easy takeaway and brings it outside 50. And finds a target too. Good. Work there by Zufa, as you would expect with his experience. Dangerous kick though, in front, showing a lot of strength there was Wells in front of Pringle. And uh, he likes to go short and finds that player Shreve, who's been on this uh, broadcast swing all afternoon here. Well, sunny conditions earlier, just clouding over a bit here. The wind 
seemingly has dropped a little bit. Good kick. And Broadbeach trying to buck the trend and score some few goals, kicking into the breeze here in this final turn. Big kick there by Hancock. Now a chance for Emery. Could he receive the handball? No, just missed. Zufa once again just hacks the ball out of the boot. Pringle taking for take two. Wells right and his hammer once again. Picked up by five. The skipper showing courage. Breaks with the tackle. And finally the mark there is Scott. Immediately plays on. Kicks the right forward pocket. Players setting themselves. One of the players there was quick. The ball beats him. Well, eventually knocked out of his hand over the boundary line. Still good attacking area for Broad Beach. Only 20 metres around from their goal. One point game. Four minutes gone. Final term. Clark tries to hit it back into the corridor, comes to Hancock, sticks it on the left foot, it's going to land in the goal square, up they go, ball comes down, no one can gain clean possession, Redlands good defensive handball out of there and they clear, comes out, this is Tyler Jones, still inside defensive 50, looking inboard, probably needs to go down the line here, just a short risky but it's come off, and this is Chris Thompson, Thompson Outside defensive 50 to the far side. Salter, one on three. Fife gathers, kicks it back towards 50. Quick's going to set himself here. Can't take the mark. Comes off the back to Shreve. Handball out. Hancock hits it up to Pandic. They've got the numbers here. Pandic puts his head down, gets brilliantly wrapped up there by Damien Stephen. And he's paid the throw. Good tackle from Stephen. So Damien Stephen now take the free kick. Ten and a half back. And uh, Brewer, the ruckman. Is uh, standing back in the centre, so they want to try and avoid him at the moment, Redlands. And a good mark at the back of the pack there. Taken and they're away now, coming through the centre of the ground. And the lead, oh, beautifully presented there was Pullman. Now he's got Gartner one on one here. Will the height pay out? Good work there from Stewart. Stewart got to the front and the ball rushed through for a behind. Gartner just throws his hands out wide, not quite sure. Quick kick in though. Finding Brewer, back Brewer back at the top there to Shreve, written to the ground up high, caught by on. Brewer just lumbers after it, tackled by Pullman, back for Shreve, trying to fend the tackle, illegally said the umpire. We're going to see some fireworks in this final term, and Stephen, he certainly didn't like the, uh, that sort of treatment. And uh, the free kick here going to Scott Miller. Two point game now after that behind two Redlands, 57-55, Brewer goes up to the mark, good score from behind though by... Templeton. The player in Templeton sees the ball out of bounds, trying to take place for Redlands on their half forward flank. And coming up to the six minute mark of the final term. Brewer to do battle here with Gartner, I think, in the ruck. Pullman isolated in the goal square. Brewer wins the hit, comes over the top. Panic runs onto it with Cass. Panic and Cass still. Cass goes after it again. Well done from Phil Cass, the former captain, kicks it back. But Stewart takes a relieving mark. On defensive halfback for Broadbridge, he's looking in board. That's where he goes. Nick Scott's on and takes the mark. He's going to switch it again. He goes to the far wing. It's Burton in front of his opponent, and Burton takes a good mark. Not paid, says the umpire. Ball down, Fife. Can't get it out. Good tackle there from Broadbridge. Locks up the Redland player, and we're going to have a bounce down. Still no goals so far in this final term, approaching the seven-minute mark. And uh, makes that all-important first goal absolutely vital to see if Redlands get it. But Broadbeach trying to stop that. Geary now on the outer side goes out. Oh, great pick up by Quick. Low to the ground as Walton now. It's just coming on the ground. His credits from space if they get the ball overturned. But Zufa, good defensive work ahead of Emery on that occasion and takes the mark. Cast presents himself at centre half back. That lead's ignored. So a kick from Zufa back to a contest. Salter doing well. Kick the ball further afield now on that outer wing. Pullman leads his Templeton in the race to the ball. Got the handball back to his skipper and Salter. And over the top there is a uh, player in semi Godfrey. Now his high kick. Pullman's at the Gardner's at the back. Ball bounces for Pringle. Can he escape the tackle? Well done by Broadbeach. I'll reward the free kick here. And the free kick should go here Searle. to Josh Searle. Searle inside defensive 50. Chips it sideways. That looks like Greeley. He goes up the line to Big Brewer and Brewer does the right thing, takes the mark. Walton Walton's the on here on the wing. He gets it over the top. Holds the footy now, Walton just controlling it. Doesn't want to turn it over. He's going to chip it out wide. Looking for Hancock who's presented. And Hancock marks. Centre wing, far side of the ground. He wheels around onto the right. Kicks it down inside 50. Looking for Emery and Clark. Clark drops what he should have taken. Cleared now by Redlands. It's Zufa. 
A big long left foot kick to nobody in particular and Templeton marks in the mud patch in the centre of the ground. Yeah, it's a good mark too by another 32. He looks to go wide. Comes out to the defensive side of the ground looking for Clark and Clark drops the mark. Looks Comes tight. down, casts, out of bounds of thought. Will be now. So looking tight there, uh, Josh Clark, didn't he? A couple of chances for a big mark and found on He's both occasions. A bit of ground. He's in the ruck now. Brewer just drifting down to the goal square behind play over there. So Clark in the ruck. Got the ball down there. Only as far as cast. So good row. Got a good tackle though. Forces the error over to Wilson. Wilson now kicks the ball towards space and Nick Scott takes the mark. As the wind just picks up here, Broadbeach affected his kick. Looking there for Emery out wide. Zufa's on his hammer. Can he elude him? Zufa hanging on to it for dear life. Got the ball back here to Scott. Kick comes in. Brewer's in the front position. Spore behind again by the Bobbers defence. Walt picks the ball up. He's got time to snap shot at goal. Close to the goals and bounces through. And the Cats are in front. First goal of the final term has taken nine and a half minutes. But it's the important one that goes to the home team, Broadbeach. They're back in front by four points, 9-7-61. Redlands are 8-9-57. And Walton brings up his second goal of the afternoon. Great finish there from Rory Walton. They just uh, forced the ball forward and he got on the end of it. Well done, Brewer. Brewer looks like he's coming off now. And Burton. So they're ringing the changes here, Broadbeach. Possibly with an advantage of having an extra uh, extra fresh man. So Thompson comes on and Shreve comes back on. So uh, Thompson heading... Uh, Heading forward, three heading to this wing. Brewer off, Grilly on for Broadbeach. So Clark into the ruck, they've gone a bit smaller up there. Hancock, Emery still there. Centre bounce, it's Clark versus Michael. Clark wins the hit, comes down, panic wrapped up. Good tackle there from Redlands. Grilly still by himself here in the half forward flank. The quick change there made by uh, Matt Angus. He Zufa still by himself though on uh, half back flank. Got him covered now, quick kick out, comes down. This is Wells on the left, short chip to Sean Wilson. Centre wing, out of side of the ground. Kicks down the line, looking for quick, up he goes, can't take the mark. Well done by Redlands, if oh, Crawford intercepted there, gets a handball over, panic. Will handball inside to Scott. Scott inside 50, can he hit a target? Emery in front, he's got it! Kieran Emery! Could be the match winning move by Matt Angus. He's moved Emery forward. He's taken his second mark in the last quarter and will shoot from 30 out directly in front to extend the lead to 10 points, Brownie. Yes, had uh, one shot at goal already. It was slightly off target, but uh, really, but a home ground knowledge shouldn't make any mistake from here. And doesn't. A low kick from Emery under the breeze and converts. Broadbeach out by 10. We're at 11 and a half gone here in the last quarter at HNA Oval and uh, good kick there from Nick Scott. Emery presented in front, did the right thing, marked and converted. It's hard to believe, Jared, that uh, we thought that would be the, uh, the low scoring end, but after half time there's been five goals to one overall at that uh, southern end of the ground. Yeah, well the, uh, the school end proving uh, uh, the scoring end today, which is uh, a bit unusual, but... Uh, Brewery's not as strong as it was in the first half, Brownie, but still uh, predominantly coming straight across the ground to this commentary side. So two goals in two minutes. The home team have got them back out to that half-time margin of a 10-point lead. What can the Bombers do in response? Are they starting to feel the effects of uh, one less player with Sam Pullman off the ground for half-time with a calf injury? But here's uh, Josh Pullman now. Screws the ball back here for his skipper. I'll have a goal from the skipper here. Salter steadies himself. Good no, ball. good hands over the top. Bit of Pringle. Runs the open. Goal blows away. And response from Pringle. And he goes down after kicking the ball. So we'll see what the umpire wants to do here. But the important thing is... Could be another kick The here. Bombers are back within four points. And Pringle gets his... Bit happening here. His second goal of the afternoon. Both after half time. And this game certainly lining up. Report here. Broadbeach reports home. Might have another shot at goal here. Redlands to go back in front. Stewart's made contact with Pringle after he's kicked the footy, or pretty much as he's kicked the footy, and the goal's gone through. But Stewart has been reported. So we'll see what unfolds here. If there's another kick, this could be uh, critical in this uh, this stage of the game. And uh, obviously the. Uh, 
treatment there, only going for Zane Brinkle, who has been out lively for them this afternoon. Uh, on that fourth line, when he gets the opportunities, to kick now two goals after half time, kicking a goal in the third uh, quarter. Ball's as coming well. back to the centre, mate. Okay, so the ball's coming back to the centre, so it remains a four point lead to Broadbeach. 13 and a half minutes now played in the final term, 10 7 67, and Redlands 9 9 63. Really hasn't been much between these two sides at all throughout the day. I think I mentioned before, the biggest lead of the game was the Cats by 12 points, and Redlands have been able to haul that in. They got their nose in front. And good to see that Pringle is back up on his feet, but uh, will be leaving the ground, and I think the umpires will wait until he has left the ground here. So uh, last quarter might tick over for a, uh, a little while yet. The second quarter went just on 30 minutes, the longest quarter of the uh, match so far. Just waiting for Pringle to get off the ground here. He's just breaking into a jog, so that's a good sign well, for I him. I don't want to lose another, another player. No, absolutely not. Broadbeach still appear to be uh, full strength at the moment. Nick Scott ready to come back onto the ground. So uh, Pringle looks to be uh, feeling a little bit better. He's holding his chest after that knock. So a four point game and his replacement came on the ground. Tom Michael immediately goes to the forward line. To join Gartner and Pullman down there. Reynolds and Brewer do the ruck. Who can get the all important clearance? And after one way, then the next, a free kick goes to the Cats. Ryan Panic with the free kick. Centre wicket area, Broadbeach. Kicks out wide to Brewer, who is unattended. Big Brewer. Kicks a low worm burner inside 50. Not a great kick. Howard Thompson by hand. Gets it out now and will get it back. This is Thompson. Gives it off to Zufa. Zufa the kick around a corner. Straight to Fife, though. Fife looks in board. Doesn't go there. Now a chip kick in. And this is Greeley. Greeley with the footy. Centre wing. Member's side of the ground here. Play on calls to the umpire. He's going to go long. He's going to go up to the line to Kieran Emery. Emery sets himself with Hancock. Balls come down the front. Emery gets it again. He's wrapped up. Probably have a ball up here, says the umpire. It's tied. It's four points in favour of Broadbridge. Still plenty of time left in this uh, final turn. And the home crowd on tender hooks, as I said a couple of times. They played three times at home this season without a victory. The Cats, I dearly love one here, and close the uh, margin on Redlands, who are two, place high, two places higher than on the ladder. Close to the boundary line once again. Players dive on top of it. Crowd wants a free kick. The umpire's just going to come in and throw the ball up once again, but it's the right end of the ground as far as Broadbeach are concerned. Brewer to do battle against Reynolds. Up they go, Brewer gets the hit, back into the corridor. Reynolds picks it up though, comes down, here's Brewer, wrapped up by Scott and Pantic. Scott with the footy now, wrapped up by Brewer, not going anywhere here. We'll have another ball, oh, he's pinged him, he's pinged him, dropping the ball, or holding the ball, if you like. And this is Zufa with the footy, half back for Redlands. He's gonna go long, he's signaling. We've got Gartner and Pullman in this pack. Templeton in front, Pullman. Walton gets tackled, ducks the head. No free kick, as there shouldn't have been, and we'll have a ball up. Centre wing. So desperation here required from both players, as you would, both teams as you would expect. Brewer goes up, got the tap down, as has most of the afternoon. The players just dive on top of it. The umpire once again can't find anything in that, and we'll uh, throw the ball up here on the uh, members wing here at Broadbeach. Now Claticus Brewer just sorts that out, just thumps the ball forward. Gained about 30 metres, but there'll still be a stoppage. Ball has gone out of bounds. Restructured here a bit, Redlands. Gartner and Pullman both playing a bit higher now and uh, give them a tall option just forward of the footy. So uh, Mackenzie and Burton on for Broadbridge. Brewer in the ruck, big hit over the top there from Reynolds. Wrapped up, good tackle, Car Shreve comes out with the ball, kicks inside 50 and Scott marks. Nick Scott, not looking like he wants to dish this off. He's going to take the responsibility and have a shot for goal. See if he can extend this lead back out to 10 points for Broadbeach. Just as the breeze picks up, Brewer goes down there just in case the ball falls short. So that's good work there by the Ruckman. Absolutely. Nick Scott walks in. He's going to kick from about 40. Ball on its way. It looks all right. It's a goal. Oh, great, great kick from Nick Scott. Great kick. That's his second, Nick Scott. And Broadbeach back out the 10 points. So, uh, seesawing last quarter here, but Broadbeach, they haven't, uh, haven't coughed up the lead for a while now, Brownie. 
Yes, absolutely. And uh, how telling what will be that goal? We'll soon find out. They move on to 11 goals, 773. Back out to that 10 point margin. With that goal, Scott becomes the third mobile goal kicker for the home team. Joining Walton and Burton also on uh, two goals, as well as Nathan Quick, of course. So four cats of uh, two goals apiece. And still leading goal kicker for the Bombers, Gardner with four. And two goals to Zane Pringle, who uh, is he back out on the ground after he that is. knock? He, he is, yes, so he's recovered well, the youngster. Forward. Good to see. Line up at centre half forward there, across the half forward line with Brewer. The ball back in the centre. Now Bombers desperately need a goal. All important clearance though by the Cats. Only as far as Howard though for Redlands. It's the ball out wide. Good defensive work in front there by Stewart. Stewart who's done well on Gartner, mm, yep. conceding a few centimetres. The ball goes out wide, out towards the outer wing. And players wrapped up in a tackle and the umpire will throw the ball up. Just gone past 19 minutes. And Broadbeach with uh, three, three goals to uh, one in this final term. Have their noses in front. It's now down the Bombers half forward line though, as Boone is wrapped up in a tackle. And the umpire set it too high. You can tell the reaction from the home crowd. They're not too happy. So Adam Boone, the number 45, will uh, go back. He's going to have a set shot for goal. What do you think of his chances here, Jared? Well, he's, uh, he's on the right side of the ground for it. Probably needs to start at outside right post, but uh, distance shouldn't be an issue, Brownie. So it's yeah, Boone. Boone, perhaps a booming kick. To get that margin back within four points once again. Oh, he's missed it. everything. Right across the face of goal, out of bounds from the full. Disappointing kick, so no further score added. As we've gone now past the 20 minute mark of the final quarter. And Broadbeach in front by 10 points. 73 play 63. And Stewart to bring it back into play for Broadbeach. Looking up the line. Oh, he's going across goal now. He's played on. He has a bounce. He's in the defensive goal square. Pressure coming here from Gartner. Stewart. Kicks long, looking for Templeton, and will find him. He's a good kick in the end. Templeton marks half back. Handball inside. This is Wells. Handball misses the target. Templeton backs up, though. Gets a handball in board to Fife. Fife kicks it out wide towards his wing. Shreve sets himself. Up he goes. Can't take it. Ryan Panic takes the ball off hands. Burton gets it. This is Greeley. Good handball. Shreve out. Kicks long. One on one. Quick and Zufa. Quick marks and holds it up. Emery, now Emery got the goal side yeah. of his opponent, so is Geary. Emery hits up at the footy now and quick does the right thing and gets it to him. He's on 50, Emery. Kicks it in short, looking for Geary. Over the top, there's an open goal here for Greeley. If he can pick it up, he can't. He's got the footy wrapped up by Zufa in a ripping tackle. And we'll have a ball up at the top of the goal square for Broadbeach. I think his eyes lit up there oh, when yeah. he saw the bacon goal square Absolutely. in front of him. He just fumbled at the wrong, start, wrong stage. So still a chance here. Hancock. Hancock out of the pack has put it through. That could be the sealer. Poor defensive work there from the Bombers. Coaching staff won't be too happy with that. And now the Cats go out to their biggest lead of the game, 16 points. Come up to the 22-minute mark of the final term, 12-7-79. And Redlands, 9-9-63. Is it enough, Jared? Well, it might be. Uh, Josh Clark was hanging out here. I think Reynolds, the Ruckman, didn't get to that contest, which left... Hancock to go in the ruck against his direct opponent, had no opponent, grabbed the footy and kicked an easy goal to put Broadbeach 16 points in front and that could be all she wrote, Brandy. And I just wonder if that uh, midfield grade of Redlands, which have uh, tried so hard, uh, throughout the day, maybe it's just taking its toll and the smaller brigade of the Cats is getting on top, getting yeah. that ball moving quickly down to the forward line. And uh, move to Emery up forward too has been uh, a handy yeah, one. Absolutely. Clark down. This is Godfrey. He gets a kick out. Half back Wilson after it. Pullman. 37 is Tyler Jones. Can't get an effective disposal. Sultan knocks it back to Jones though. Jones kicks inside 50. They need a goal here, Redlands. Stewart. Gartner's got the footy. Picks it up. Knocked out of his hands. Broad Beach numbers and it goes out of bounds. Good result there for the Cats. Well, we've had the three wins this year, Broadbeach. So one of them a terrific win, of course, against the NT Thunder. Absolutely. Open Upset. like a house on fire in Darwin. It's uh, a good win, but uh, no, they're the looking ball. like they're going to get their fourth here, I'd say. Nick Scott, now the clearing kick out wide, close to the boundary line. 
Zufa comes in, though, tackled at the last minute. Put the ball back here to Reynolds. Over the top there to Solder, tackled high. Was he the umpire? No call, play on. He's held up, he's going to be ping. And Callan Gary, one of that uh, midfield grade we're talking about, takes the free kick there. And we're happy to slow things now down for the Cats. 23 and a half minutes gone, final quarter here at uh, HA Oval, Broad Beach on the Gold Coast. And the home team looking for their first win at home this season, leader by 16 points. 79 to 63. Content to work the ball now and present themselves on that outer wing. Nick Scott. The number 23 kicked two terrific goals to that southern end into the breeze. Won the second term and of course one here in the final quarter. Emery held up there and happy to see the ball over the line on that uh, outer half forward flank. And it's the wrong end as far as Redland are concerned. And there'll be a boundary throw in. And we'll have Josh Clark in the ruck doing battle down there with Reynolds. Comes over the back. Reynolds gets a free hit at it. Bashes it forward but it's all Broadbeach behind the footy. Handball, not real clean out the back. This is Quick and Godfrey. Quick's got the footy. Wrapped up, footy held in there. It's all right, Broadbeats don't mind the extra stoppages. Redlands, they need to get it out into space, Brownie. Yeah, they do, and uh, heard the cries from the uh, Broadbeach coach, Matt Angus, just wants the contest to be killed at the moment. Soak up as much time as possible. Redlands, though, do come away from that uh, stoppage. Uh, what can uh, Broadbeach here do to defend? Uh, they pop it up here. Cast now comes in. Runs inside 50. Backs oh. himself. Has a shot at goal. Puts it through. Keeps the Bombers alive. Good finish there from Cast. He's cramping up a bit, but uh, nearly 25 minutes gone. It pulled it back to 10 points. Parky. Probably next centre clearance is critical, Brownie, I would have thought. I would, I, if Cast is fit, he needs to inject himself into this centre bounce because they've just got to get it forward here, Redlands, if they're to stay alive in this contest. Well, we're back to that same margin, uh, 10 points that was at half time. So uh, the game is seesawed, no doubt about it, in this second half. But uh, Redlands, they'll give themselves a chance, but uh, time may be against them. Maybe, maybe it's time for Brody to stick one just behind the free for the last five minutes here. Clark to do battle with Reynolds. Just man on man at the moment. Yeah, he's in there. Brewer, need to get their hands on it, Redlands. Clark, big hit, knocks it forward. Wilson, handball, panic trying to get it. Grewer off the ground, good wet weather footy. Bangs inside 50, Templeton needs to be clean. Picks it up, clearing kick out wide. Pringle and Wells. Wells, handball, Templeton, they got the extra numbers, Broadbeach. Greeley holds a footy, chip and hold. Josh! It Walton. looks like Walton yep. down the uh, far side of the ground. Scott, up he goes. Hancock front and square. Handball forward. Here they go, the Cats. This is Ryan Panic inside 50. Kick out in front of Quick. Quick tries to get it to Killy. Killy on the left. Fires a goal. It's going across the bar. Handy bounce. Oh, rushed through by Redlands. That would have been the ball game as Clark comes off for Brewer. Redlands, all yours, Brownie. Uh, thanks, Jared. Well called. It could have been the sealer. Then now Reynolds had a wicket from one end of the ground to the other. As uh, Reynolds, slow kick out there, beaten to the ball there was Cass by Greeley. Walton does a one two with Greeley on his inside with, was Wells. That lead ignored. Both players, sets of players now looking pretty tired after a gruelling afternoon here at Broadbeach. And the Cats, the home team, are hanging on. And they thread the ball through. A chain of handballs ends up with. Uh, Geary and then uh, Panic, Panic now. Yeah, Geary out of the uh, fresh air. Hancock's in front and takes the mark. And over the top oh. of the handball, played on, didn't need to, to soak up the time. Still up your chance here to quick, trying to get the ball back here to Hancock. And just extraordinary stuff there by the home team, close to their goals. Hancock goes in again. Plenty of uh, white and red jumpers are around the ball. Players sitting on top of it, wow. including What's uh, thinking? Talent Geary. And he should have been going back, have a set shot for goal there. Hancock and played on. It sealed the game, but he's uh, gone for the handball. He goes up, hits it out. Quick on the boot, it's a goal! And that's the game. Nathan Quick. All clear from the umpire. Hancock to Quick. Ices the game. It's his third Quick. He's had a pretty good day uh, playing as a third tall forward. And uh, that's all she wrote. 
Did it's, the same uh, thing the second turn, didn't absolutely. he? Absolutely. Out of a stoppage at the end, yeah. end of the ground. Got a little toe poke through for a goal. Been very second. effective from stoppages inside the front half, Broadbridge. But uh, helps when you're winning most of the hits, Brownie. Makes it a lot easier at the uh, at ground level. Yeah, they certainly would have a huge advantage for the stats go for hit outs this afternoon. Shreve back on. Now it is definitely the biggest lead of the game. 17 points. And the Cats have really livened up this final turn after Redlands went into the final uh, final break with a two-point lead. But they haven't been able to maintain that in the final quarter. They've stood up to all the Cats in this final quarter. Get another clearance again. And Redlands just handed the ball. So McKenzie throws the ball back, back there to Matt Thompson. Oh, high up and under. Josh Pullman, no chance at all. Sport from behind. The there was uh, from Stewart. Now might fall here to Gartner. A little the tackle back to Pringle. Recovered after that knock. High kick towards the top of the goal square. The ball bouncing through there for Pringle. Post. And post. it's hit the padding of the post. Through for a minor score. Margin back to 16 points. We've now gone over 29 minutes. Quarter might go for a little gone while. Over the line here, after Pringle, of course, suffered a knock earlier in this quarter. And it's gone over the line, as you call it, Jared. So a ball will be thrown up right near to the goal square. Templeton, the Cardinals in from fullback. He's run over the line, so Redlands with a chance to uh, chance to answer here. Could Not sure the there's enough time, but uh, Stewart and Gartner in the ruck. Gartner tries to grab it out and kick it. Greeley does well. Handball out to Wells. Clearing kick is it's clearing. through it's the clear. side screen. It's, it's, it's over the, the fence. fence. That's yeah. it. Oh, yeah. But it's out of the danger zone temporarily. Pringle wheels inside. Oh, that's an instant replay. That's it on the full as well. There I say, so, uh, perhaps I could have looked for a chip kick. Ah, very good, Franny. Very good. Elected to go for the long bomb. It didn't pay no. off and uh, tired legs quickly after receiving that knock earlier this term. Needed to get it into the corridor, but uh, Broadbeach with the footy now. This is uh, Greeley. It's going to go long up the line in the Brewer direction. Bumped off the footy and Zufa floats across the back. He needs to move it quick. There's no time here for Redlands. He bangs it inside 50. Up go the big fellas. Pullman. A big grab from Josh Pullman. And he comes up with a bit of cramp as 20 well. 20 metres out directly in front. You don't want to take uh, too long here. No time on the clock. Needs to kick this. Geary comes off. Pullman wanders in. No mistake there. Back to 10 points. It's his second Pullman. We must have been going 30 plus minutes here. It's 31 minutes about to tick over on the clock. I'm sure there's enough time for two scores, Brandy, you think? Yes, and it's once again, back to that half time margin of 10 points. So 11 10 76. The Bombers and Broadbeach out in front, 13 8 86. So uh, 21 scoring well. shots apiece. Oh, so it's a little margin of accuracy. Put the kicking into the wind to uh, prove the difference here for the uh, Cats. I dare say, too, a couple of those tremendous kicks from Nick Scott, too, into the wind. Both Absolutely. his goals have been a tremendous goals there for Broadbeach. Cass has injected himself for this centre bounce, mate, being picked up by McKenzie. We'll see if they can get a quick clearance here in Redlands. Umpire just wiping the mud off the footy. Still uh, man on man, oh, the extra player has extra come back there. Emery behind the footy now. So Zufa loose for, for Redlands at the other end. Brewer, Reynolds, give it to slightly to Brewer. Comes down to Salter, can't get a kick. Numbers there, Salter wrapped up. We'll have a restart just off the side of the wicket area. Ten points of difference here in favour of Broadbeach. Need a clearance here, Redlands. 50-50 the contest. Brewer, cast, good smother. Panic heading in there. Panic forcing the ball forward by hand. Quick kick out from Redlands. Jones and Pringle. Pringle works the front. Pullman comes over. Good spoil from Templeton out wide. Shreve and the Ruckman. Shreve, very good. Handball out. McKenzie got it. McKenzie heads forward. An ordinary kick. Be forced out of no, he's done well there. Handball inside from Jack Williams. And Redlands going forward. The kick misses Cast. Thompson pick up the cast. Breaks the tackle. Handball forward. Here's Pringle. Out very wide. Misses the target. And uh, 
Probably missed the scoring opportunity, I would have thought, Brownie. Yeah, I thought it had the opportunity to swing around on the left boot and get more important to get the ball inside 50. It lets it go for the handball, but carried a long way, of course, with the breeze, favouring the side of the ground, and Bruin knows what to do. Just thumps the ball away. The advantage of Pantic running onto it is Geary tried to break the tackle. Tackle by Howard. Got the kick away though in time. Quick came out. Ball only goes far. And there it is! Broad Beach celebrate. Their first victory at home in 2013 at HA Oval with a 10-point victory, 13886. Redlands 11 10 76. Jared, do you want to sing the song to you? Or? Well, no, no, we won't be uh, singing the song, Brownie, but I'm sure the Broadbeach players will when they get into the rooms. That was a uh, gutsy win, really. They were lost the third quarter again, which they've had a bit of a habit of doing this season, but uh, they've come back hard in the last quarter and uh, ground out a 10 point win, Brownie, and uh, good performance. Redlands will be probably pretty disappointed with that. They were uh, short price favourites, Redlands, going into this game, but they've, uh, they've been rolled down here, so. Uh, I'm sure the, uh, the Broad Beach hierarchy will be pretty happy to get their fourth win of the year. Well, full credit to the Cats as well. They kicked a total of nine goals into that uh, southern end, to the change room end, where people perhaps would have thought they would have been struggling to kick goals. No, it was uh, proved to be the scoring end down uh, there to the new change room. So uh, all credit to Broad Beach. Uh, best players, Brownie, I thought Shreve was terrific for Broad Beach, along with uh, both the talls, uh, Clark and Brewer in the ruck, uh, just, just dominated and uh, gave their smalls first use. Uh, and for Redlands, uh, Zufa was very good, playing, uh, playing in the back half, along with uh, Cass in the second half. Um, Gartner obviously kicked, uh, kicked four, Gartner. Uh, so he was the leading goal kicker there. Um, but uh, all in all, not a bad standard game considering how, uh, how blustery it's been down here at H&A Oval. Well, more importantly, it keeps uh, Broad Beach in contention, of course, uh, at the top, towards the top of the ladder. They now go to uh, four and six, and uh, Redland now four and five. And uh, just recapping the goal kickers for you, leading goal kicker for the Cats, Nathan Quick. Uh, two of those goals, opportunists. The leading goal kicker with three. Two goals apiece to uh, Rory Walton, uh, Nick Burton, Nick Scott, and uh, singles then to uh, Ben Hancock, Kieran Emery, when he moved to full forward there in that final term, and also Josh Clark. And for the Bombers, four goals to Gardner, as you mentioned there, Jared. Two goals apiece to Josh Pullman and Zane Pringle. And singles to Phil Cass, Blake Brewer, and also Tyler Jones. Great calling with you this afternoon, Jared, on NEFA Live TV. Enjoyed it, Brownie. Great to, uh, great to be on board. As uh, the Cats celebrate a home victory by 10 points. Uh, Broadbeach 13-8-86. Redlands 11-10-76.